is... That's correct. I'm AJ Twist. It is. I, I'm T. And this is episode 335. This is the Zangoose episode. Zangoose, oh shit. This is the... What, what do you think? I mean, this is uh, a hard one. Right? He's the... Uh, it's a lot more grounded than you imagine. A little more Avatar the, than you would imagine. Mm, what? I said what I said. Oh, uh, he's the um. Uh, I don't know, man. What's the name of that other Pokemon? He's a Viper eating Pokemon. <laughs> Yo, that'd be so funny if a Pokemon was named as this this Pokemon eating Pokemon. <laughs> Fucking hilarious. No, this, I said the guy think more Avatar. Avatar. Because he's the cat ferret Pokemon. What? The, mm, okay. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, and as a, as a side note, this fool terrifies me. He looks fucking scary. He's, he's I wouldn't want to see this fool in real life. Like, I'm glad he wasn't in that movie. I'm just sad. Detective he, Pikachu, you know? Oh, he should have been, though. No, he's terrifying. I don't like him. He should have. Maybe you're, you're a survivor. Um, he should have been a, um, like, a, he doesn't have any uh, other evolutions. Like, I feel like he. That's just him, shot, huh? Yeah. That's how he rolls? Yeah, he's one of them single evolution types. Damn, that's wild. Yeah. But yeah, we're well, weird when they make those, isn't it? Like, what's the point of yeah, this? Yeah, it's like why? Pokemon? Like everything has should have a smaller form, right? Even back to the old, the old game, you know, like there's a few of them that are just like why? Like Farfetch, Tangela. I know eventually they made something for Tangela, but up until that point, it's like why? Tang- Tangela has an evolution, not not like a, a pre-evolution though. Oh, he doesn't. No, Snorlax got a pre-evolution. Oh yeah, yeah. yeah him on Lee and him on Chan did. Yeah, but at the time you're at just time, like, yeah. what the fuck are these? Jinx- like, <laughs> well, all the early ones have a pre-evolution now, huh? Not all of them, because... Oh, Farfetch does, huh? He has an evolution. He doesn't have a pre-evolution? I think he does. No, he doesn't. No. Oh, yeah, Clefairy. Clefairy has a pre-evolution. Oh, she always had Clefairy. But it ought to have, yeah. Huh. Is there... Shit, we're going to have to investigate this and get back to you yeah, guys. Yeah, I'm going through the whole Pokedex in my head right now. Right now, I'm on 35. <laughs> well, if you couldn't tell by this conversation, this is the <laughs> podcast about episode. yeah, the podcast about video games, comics, animes, card games, movies, shows, all that stuff. And yeah, uh, we're live on Twitch.tv slash Closer Twenty Eight. Uh, catch us here every Wednesday. Wednesdays at um, seven thirty, seven seven thirty. Yeah. You know in that window. Unfo- or you can watch us on Unfocus. Uh, I'm sorry, on youtubecom Unfocus. You can also get our podcasts. Mm-hmm. And you can also get us our home website, Collision Twenty Eight dot com. Uh, yeah, tweet us at Unfocus Twenty Eight at Unfocus Twenty Eight. Yeah. And then if you want to, you know, ask us to ask questions or talk about things we talked about before, or, you know, cr- you know, tell us that you, things you want us to talk about in the future, you know. Just email us at unfocusedpodcast at gmail dot com. Yeah, true. Yeah. All right. All right. So uh, you want to start off with your unfocused week, AJ? Uh, yeah, very uneventful, like uh, last week too. Um, hmm. Me and AJ knocking beers back, man. Cheers. Yeah. Finally. Liquid death. Bam. Yeah. This is a, actually well, it's sparkling. That's an actual. Oh shit! You're getting closer to beer, right? <laughs> now, is there actually alcohol in that one, this one? No, there's okay, not. Okay, not yet. Okay. No. They're it's getting it's there. water. Yeah, yeah. You know, it's, it's getting closer every time. It's getting closer. First it was sparkling. Now it's flavored. Yeah. This, watch. This, this is watch. called Bury It Alive. It's, 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 a, it's a sparkling berry. I didn't expect it to be sparkling. I tasted it right now, too. I was like, I just realized, wait, that's sparkling. I seen one like in a gold can, and, okay. it, was, and it was like sparkling mm-hmm. liquid death or something like that. I was yeah. Like, oh, the, shit. the black with gold. Yeah. Yeah, that's what it was. I don't like sparkling water. Like, why? I don't know. Makes more sense with the can theme, though. You know. Uh, yeah, but but you don't. Fuck anyway, with that. nah, I'm good. <laughs> so yeah, I um, I just been chilling out. Uh, didn't uh play anything really. I don't think so. No KOF. Um, no. Mm-mm, no, didn't do any of that. No Smash or anything like that. Nothing. Uh, play some Digimon. Yeah, um, we entered a tournament. Yeah, we. Oh yeah, that's right. We entered a tournament. That's right. I forgot about that. Uh, didn't read. Uh, yeah, I didn't do shit. Like I, I've been actually um, uh, a friend. Friend of a friend type of thing, you know? Uh, Steven, Scuba Steve, you know? I don't know if he ever... I don't know if he's ever been... I think he's been around here and there. Anyways, he um, he's building a computer. He bought he bought all these computer parts, and he didn't know how to put it together. So he's, like, um, got in contact with me and trying to put that together for him. Mm. So, uh, yeah, I've been fucking around with that. Um, it's crazy with computers and shit like that, because you got all these pieces. You think they should work together, and I put them together, and it wouldn't boot. It's like, what the fuck? Huh? Well, it's like either something's dead, or, or maybe, they don't. They don't just don't compute or, together. Or maybe, yeah, maybe they're not compatible, right? Mm-hmm. And I started like researching real quick, and it turns out the processor he bought is not compatible out the box with the motherboard he bought. 
So you have to make modifications? And no, you have to like uh, you have to update it. You have to update the motherboard's uh, BIOS. But the only way you can do that is if you have a chip that works on it. So uh, like it's like, well, I don't have a spare processor that I can throw in there to get it to work. That's older. So I actually have to go and rip out my server's uh, processor just to put it in there because my, my processor and my server is a little older. Um, and it's, it was compatible. And that's what I did today because I had time today. So I, I actually went ahead and uh, broke open Lumiere, my server, and um, took out the processor and the RAM, threw it into the uh, motherboard, and got it, it, it booted up, and I updated it. So that was fun. And then I started putting the computer to, the computer together a little bit. Uh, it just needs to be wired up and everything. Um, and then mostly I've been working on that that website thing. I've been working on that, that, um, that Digimon shit. Uh, I'm just getting crazy with that. Now I'm trying to stylize it. What well, last week I made a, a a filter so I can search things by filter and shit. I can filter things down to a T now and and, and find whatever. Uh, I even added to uh, show me like uh, all the cards I either have or don't have. So if I'm searching for something, but I only want to know, I only want to see the cards I have. I can I can filter that out now. So getting all crazy with that. And then um, let's see if we can open a random page here. But let's see. We go with this guy. This guy's boring. Um, but this page, this is how the, my, my page looks like right now when I, when I look at a Digimon card, kind of plain and simple. So I've been trying to like stylize it to make it look, you know, cooler in some way. Um, and so I have, let me get to a good freaking Digimon or something with some, with some actual text. Man, that looks cool. Uh, let's see if this works here. Are you trying to have one Bam. of the card ages just you have everything in the database? Yeah, no, I'm trying, I'm trying to st um, um, stylize this shit here. So this is what I've been working on and fucking making these circles. Got some shading going on here. and So you got the extra color for when they get dual colors and shit. Yeah, uh I, I, I can do that now too. Ooh, like if I can, oh my God. That 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 was like, have you seen um freaking, uh, what's his name? Um, The new dude uh, from BT7. Pokemon? Uh, the, the level seven. Mm, Sasunamon. Yeah, yeah. yeah. No, I never pulled him. Everyone no. keeps talking Sano Mon. Yeah, but you see his digital evolution here? The fuck? Yeah, it's a fucking rainbow, right? Anybody can just become this fool? He pretty much, yeah. So Damn. I learned how to make a he's, rainbow. He's very <laughs> inspirational. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Because he's pretty badass and powerful, but anybody <laughs> could be him, you know? Like, yeah, he, you just believe. Exactly, exactly. <laughs> he digivolved, right, you know? He, he digivolves from a tamer. Damn, this so just any, got real. any tamer can become Sano Mon. Shit just got real right Just now. by sacrificing a bunch of other tamers. That's so all you got to do is <laughs> sacrifice, you know? <laughs> exactly, yeah. I have one. I, I was running one of my deck. I've, I've never been able to pull it out. Um, but that was in the very beginning. Now that I've been playing my deck more in, in Digimon, I feel like I probably could pull it out now. Now that I know how to fucking throw shit away properly and, and all that. Um, so I might gonna, I might want to try to throw them back into a, to a deck. I only have one of these bitches, though. But that's what I've been working on, just, just stylizing this shit, getting these circles and all that. Like, you can't just say, oh, make this shit round. You got to fucking go and program and say, round out this corner, make it this big. And, yeah, like, there's been plenty of things that just, I, I do shit and it breaks everything and everything's overlapping. And that's been a pain in the ass. So I just be fucking around that for the most part on some CSS shit. Um, oh, I didn't mean to close all that. Um, and then, yeah, just watching, um, I, I watched Turning Red. Have you seen that one, the Pixar? Mm-mm. I am doing it in CSS, but like I said, like you can't just say do one thing. You gotta like, it's all CSS. CSS fucking just does crazy shit if you don't word things correctly. Um, so that's what I've been. Never mind. Yeah. <laughs> Have you seen Turning Red, the Pixar movie? No. No. I haven't seen that one yet. Did see that? Is um, it good? It's good. Yeah, I liked it. Um, it's on my list. Very um, Chinese. Definitely like focuses. Oh, the like, style on, of it. Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. Um, but it, it's, it's a cool movie and I, I need to go, f uh, cause Pixar theory shit, right? Um, it's not what you think. Uh, what does that mean? I know. What does that mean? I guess it's not, I know it's I know what I was going into when I started watching actually. I don't know anything about <laughs> it. I have, I know nothing about it at yeah. all. So I, there's nothing, I have no preconceived concepts. Uh, but like, uh, I'm, I'm wondering how this connects to the, all, all the other Pixar shit. You know, they have that Pixar theory out there, how everything's connected. You know, someone's already got a video. You should fucking make your, sure you is. should make your theory video before anyone else does. I don't have a theory video. <laughs> Figure it out. <laughs> I want to see some other people's theories. Well, make your own right now. And, and how shit connects. <laughs> um, I mean, I guess I could assume some shit, but, oh, and also they, they put a timestamp in it too. Like it takes place in 2002. 
which is crazy. Much specific. Yeah, it's very specific. Uh, and what's crazy, remember the Brad Stalls? Yeah. So there's like a boy band group that exists, you know, in, in, in the story. They fucking look like Brad Dolls to me. You think they did that on purpose? That's pretty funny. Maybe. It came well, out in 2002. 2002. That's around yeah. that time. <laughs> that's true. It's around that time. <laughs> oh, that's funny. The meaning of the title of the uh, movie changes pretty early on. I, yeah, I guess so. You're telling me more of what I more than I know already about it right now. Or maybe I should just be supposed to be about a girl turning into a red panda. True. Okay. I thought it was a, a tanuki for a little bit, unless that's what a tanuki is. It's kind of like that, actually. Mm. Anyway, anything else for your focus week? Nah, that's pretty much pretty much it. All right, for my focus week, you know what? Uh, I did not see turning red, but. I think I mentioned last week that I saw Raya the Last Dragon finally. Oh, finally, really? Did I not talk about that? Nah, okay. I... I saw Raya the Last Dragon. That was really good, man. The, mm-hmm. the fighting in it was sick. Um, Everyone says uh, they get Avatar vibes from it. No, nah, man, I said that ever since I seen the trailer. It looked like a <laughs> jack everything from Avatar. Like, <laughs> and, you know, I felt a little less like that once I saw the movie, but for yeah. sure there's still a lot of Avatar elements in yeah. there, I felt. Uh, you know, and it, doesn't, it makes sense. Avatar is like a good, good 10, 15 years old now. So uh, that makes sense that there was like big time creators now that were influenced by it. True. You know, um, she looks mad like Korra. Hmm. Yeah. You know, I was wondering if she was gonna start being interested in that. Korra, <laughs> the, <laughs> yeah, the villain. You know, the enemy to, or to continue the Korra vibes. Yeah. Um, but yeah, it was it was very good. Martial arts in it was super sick. Yeah. The animation was tight. Uh, Aquafina wasn't so annoying. You know, it was cool. I liked it. <laughs> it was good. Um, and then I saw. Encanto. Oh, really? Yeah, that show okay. was really good. Uh, you know, some of the songs didn't hit as good as other songs. Wait, Ride of the Last Dragon's not a Pixar movie, right? That's just a, no. Um, that's just Disney. Disney. Yeah, and I don't even think El Canto is Pixar either. I think that's just also Disney. And you know, it's funny. Um, no, Encanto is definitely Disney for sure. That one is. Mm-hmm. Um, and yeah, you know, some of the songs didn't hit with me, but the songs that were good were really fucking good, and I liked it. Um, I haven't seen it in full. I kind of walked in on Carla watching it for you probably her like fifth time or something at okay. one point, <laughs> and then I started just started watching the rest of it with her. But nice. you should watch it from the beginning. It's it's pretty cool. Yeah, I definitely missed the beginning. It's like Umbrella Academy, but Latino. <laughs> yeah. Interesting. Yeah, and for kids. <laughs> That's right. With singing. Uh, mm-hmm. With singing. <laughs> well, they're singing in Umbrella Academy. They got musical moments. Remember? Mm, okay. Yeah. yeah. yeah that's <laughs> probably about the same amount. Um, I don't know about the same amount, but okay. Yeah. When's the next season coming out? Oh, actually, I saw a poster about that. It's like it's like in June or something like that. It's oh, pretty soon. soon? Yeah, oh, it's wow. really soon. There's okay. like some posters and shit now. Nice. I should. I want to go back and rewatch like some of those series that are coming ongoing, like um, like Stranger Things. Like yeah. I feel like I haven't seen any Stranger Things things in a forever. You know, I'm. I. It's funny. I kind of don't care about Stranger Things anymore. No. I don't know if it's because they waited too long or what. Like, yeah, I, yeah. I, you know, I did really like that last season. I was entertained by it. You know. Yeah, I feel like it's I, been too long though, right? Like you almost forgotten about it. Yeah, and yeah. I, I, I try to think about it because I know they've been like slowly like releasing information about the next season, but I just can't get hyped, man. That dude's in Russia. I know he was. I saw Black Widow. I know where oh, he yeah, is. Yeah, I know where right. he is. Yeah, so we saw the second part of that. <laughs> but uh, I don't know. I just can't get, find myself getting hyped for it anymore. I don't know why. But maybe it'll change when it actually comes out and I watch the first episode. You know. Mm. But anyway, um, what else? Oh, so Encanto. Yeah, that was cool. There's a quick moment. I forgot why, but like the art like changes a bunch of times, and for one time, one moment, it looks like Encanto is drawn like an old school Disney movie. Hmm. Now, you know, I was thinking. This is a genius idea. Disney, if you steal my idea, you owe me some fucking money. Cause like, <laughs> I think it's a genius idea, right? Instead of making all the fucking movies that we like that are hand-drawn into live actions for some reason, why don't we make all the Disney movies that came out after that period that have been CGI and make a hand-drawn version of it? I feel like everybody would come out and watch that shit, dude. Because they gotta hand draw everything again. Fucking do it. They want they money or not. Time for that. You guys want money or not? Like, <laughs> <laughs> I feel like people would... They get way more hyped th- about that than they do about these live action things. Shouldn't you know what they, I mean? Like, shouldn't instead of making live action versions of the hand drawn shit, shouldn't they make CGI versions of the hand drawn shit? Oh, uh, I think they tried that. Do they? Do they try? I feel like they've done that with one or two of them. I feel like the only thing they've done that with is like some of their like uh, their TV shows. Oh no, you're right. Maybe that's what I'm thinking about. I don't about. think they've done that with the movie yet. Yeah, yeah, that, that wouldn't be too bad. You could do that too. I, I just feel like it'd be really cool for. I feel like that's how you can capture the older fans and make them watch something like that with their kids. It's like, imagine if you could see, um, well, not up. That's because it's actually Pixar. Well, yeah, maybe, maybe if they let them, you know, like let's say up, you know, yeah. like if Drew with do with hand drawn or like no, Toy Story with hand drawn, like that'd be pretty sick, you know. Like, I don't that'd know. be weird. 
It'd be weird, but it could be pretty cool if it was yeah. done like those ones, you know? Mm-hmm. I don't know. I just think it'd be interesting. It was an idea I had. I was like, I feel like people would flock to that way more than this live action thing. The live action thing, yeah. It, what sucks about the live action stuff is that they're they're changing parts of it that people liked. Yeah. And it's like not for good usually. Yeah. Or they're I, like missing parts. Like people wanted to be like frame for frame, you know, and, and they're not and, doing that. And you know what's funny? When I feel like when they do do it frame for frame, like... Aladdin was a little different, but that was mostly frame for frame. And actually, uh, I didn't yeah. like it. I, I didn't like it. Like it was yeah, all right. I never. I, I'm pretty sure I saw Aladdin when I was younger, but I don't remember it at all. The oh, same yeah? live action, I like that. Same thing with Beauty and the Beast. I like that. So you know, I haven't seen Beauty and the Beast yet, but I know that one's basically frame for frame, right? Uh, I don't know, but it seems like it. I don't remember Beauty and the Beast either. Mm. Lion King, I've seen a shit ton. Of, like I love Lion King. I see that shit often. So the live action of that, like I knew what was missing and what should have been where. You didn't like it. Yeah, now you like it. Uh, uh, I mean, it's yeah. There's missing shit though. <laughs> I think I said this before. The only Disney live action recreation I've liked has been Jungle Book. I think everything else I've been like, Jungle Book's been good, yeah. Uh, good. Something about Christopher Walken's singing the King Louis song just fucking made me laugh so hard. <laughs> I d- have no idea why. I was like, this. Is, I did not expect this to happen. But you know, he just, he just started talking, and all of a sudden the talk went into rhythm, and I was like. Wait a minute, is this happening right now? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and he starts singing. I was like, oh shit, this is really happening. Like, yeah. If anything, I wish there was more of that. Hmm. And my one other complaint. If- but look, that was CGI though. Yeah, but See it was live saying? action See too. Though. There was people in it too. Yeah, but you know, it's mostly CGI. So maybe it's better when it's now than Lion King though, actually. Yeah, Lion King. How about <laughs> that, man? Uh, you know what else is the only other mistake is that, that Scarlett Johansson was Ka, right? Okay. There was a Trust in Me song. If you watch the watch the credits at the end oh like deleted shit huh yeah there's her singing the trust in me song and i'm like you didn't think you should put that in the fucking movie and i'm like i would have i would have been so happy about that you know like yeah just a whole moment with kai like trying to fucking eat him i can understand them like just not even doing it but like they did it and didn't yeah. put it in yeah like, they were so the close fuck? like yeah. they were like one second away from just doing it for real, just for a minute you know yeah i just chose not to that's weird you, you know i was kind of hoping they would do in the live action uh, lion king is put the uh, Zazu's Morning Report. There's a song that they didn't put in the original oh. uh, animated. And I was hoping they would do that. I don't think they did it, though. I don't they didn't I do it. remember the Morning Report. Yeah. I remember seeing that later. I was like, what? Is a whole new song I was supposed to go right here? Damn. You know what's funny? Uh, I mean, I guess it's a, a big story and a lot of shit. I guess, yeah, even going back to Macbeth. But Lion King's a lot like Dune. Hmm. Just think about it. You already saw Dune. Just think yeah, about yeah. it. I, I think I have to tell you. don't have to tell you. You could just think about it. Yeah, and be like, yeah, yeah. oh, yeah. I can't see is. that. Yeah. <laughs> oh, speaking of Dune. Okay, so I have been like, you know, I have background shit happening when I'm like programming and shit like that, right? Yeah. So my new background shit is, has been um, some Slayers. Yeah. Uh, Slayers and Avatar. I mean, we're going back and forth. Um, but with Slayers, I was watching um, Try because I feel like I haven't like I haven't seen Try in a while. Like I, in my Slayers in my, tries the shit. Yeah, in my Plex server, it says I haven't watched it yet. I was like, that's bullshit. So <laughs> let me go push the watch counters on that, right? Um, remember in the very beginning when they're in the desert and they had those sand people, freaking straight out Star Wars, right? And then yeah. they had the freaking worm, right? And I was like, wait a minute, is this what fucking Dune shit that's wow. going on right now? Wow, like, how did I never think about that? <laughs> yeah. You're right, that is some Dune shit going on. Yeah, I was like, holy shit, there's some Dune shit going on right now. In this, in that's the of this so shit. funny, I never even thought about that. You're right. Yeah, so, <laughs> like, I had a mind blown moment. Uh, they weren't stealing Star Wars, they were actually stealing from the source, you know? <laughs> yeah, like, exactly, that's it's funny. like, it's not Star Wars, this is Dune. <laughs> uh, but yeah, so that's something I did kind of catch. Alina's well, the type that would want to eat the sandworms. Hmm, probably. Yeah, if you told her it was a delicacy, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Anything else you got? Oh yeah, there was other things. What else? Um, what was the last thing? Man, we got so I'm focused, guys. We got so lost in talking about the Disney stuff. Did we? Um, <laughs> I. Or did we find ourselves? In the <laughs> damn, that was deep. Uh, I spent some time constructing my my deck. Oh yeah, let's as, talk about that. Yeah, as AJ mentioned, we went to we entered a um. Digimon card tournament. And so, you know, I went there and I was like playing around my deck, tailoring it the whole time, playing to test it out in the tournament, my blue and red deck. And you know, like two nights before, I'm like, man, I'm not going to use my blue and red deck. I mean, yeah, I didn't think you're going to use it. I'm like, you know, it's, it's so experimental. For anyone that doesn't know, I'm, I'm doing what do they call it? A rogue deck? I'm creating, yeah, I'm creating a rogue, rogue deck, deck, which is a deck that's never like made any headway or isn't famous at all. So basically, you kind of... It's, like, it's not part of the meta. Yeah, you come up with an idea, or you're trying to introduce an idea that you feel like no one has. Yeah. And uh, so I've kind of made a road deck, uh, rogue deck red and blue, 
And basically, I want to take advantage of all the things that red can't, blue can't do, because those are, uh, and red has those things. So I want to use some of that, basically protecting yourself from attacks. Anyway, uh, but you know, two days before the tournament, I'm like, man, this is too experimental. I'm not going to survive in this turn. I'm not going <laughs> to, I'm not going to use it. And so I'm just going to use my, um, my red deck. It's, it's, it's fastest one I have, I guess. It's pretty good. Yeah. Mm. And right before the tournament, I had to play a few practice rounds with my blue and red, and I, and I was like, I didn't do bad with that. And they're like, okay, tournament time. And I was already shuffling. I was like, should I get the red deck out? Nah, fuck it. I'm just going to put up the blue and red. <laughs> wow. I did, right? And first match, I paid for it because I lost because I didn't draw anything that matched. And I was like, fuck, this is exactly what I was afraid of. Mm-hmm. But the second match, I played against somebody who was even better than the first guy I played. And, you know, he was fucking me up at the beginning. And he was about to, I could tell next turn was going to be game turn. I'm like, all right, hopefully I draw something good. And this is game, you know, and I, and I could actually pull off the shit I want to pull off, which is a one turn knockout. Yeah. And I fucking drew the card I needed. I was like, fuck yeah. Double lightning joust. Blah, double like, lightning? Oh, no, sorry, sorry. Single lightning. Oh, okay, sorry. I was say, like, no, shit. single lightning joust. Can you do double? No, no, no. It was single lightning joust with Imperial Dramon. Uh, and then hit, double. Yeah, and then Digivolved became Imperial, Imperial Dramon. Mm-hmm. And then, like, hit, double. Hit again and then attacked with my little fucking memory blocker and I was, yeah. I was game. I got him and he was like, "Holy shit!" <laughs> and he had he had to look at lightning joust too. Wait a minute. He's like, "Wait, hold, hold on." So I don't think you get it twice. So I'm like, "Says for the turn," and he was like, "Wow, I've never seen that before." <laughs> like, "Holy shit!" I was like, "I was like, I don't think it exists, man." I was like, I, I'm, "I'm trying to make this up, you know," and uh, you know, eventually I ended up losing that match, but I got it. You know, I got the one turn knockout. Yeah, and uh, I played somebody else. Afterwards, uh, who who is actually a tournament winner, like he won a couple of tournaments, and I got a round off of him with that deck, and I was like, oh shit, I should play with this deck more often, and uh, I got it. But you know, the tournament guy, he's never seen that deck yet. After three turns of playing with him, he knew what I was trying to do, and he yeah. started doing everything he could to block it. <laughs> and it would have been cool, but I got no tamers, no rookies. I got a game. Of, I have a gang of tamers yeah. and a gang of rookies, and I didn't get any. And he was like, uh, "It's like, yeah, you just got unlucky." He's like, "He's like, this is a good idea if you can get it." He's like, "That's the trick. Like, that's that's a really tough thing you're trying to do right there." I'm yeah. like, "Yeah." So anyway, it was a good. It was a good experience. Yeah, good, good time. I'm glad I used the experimental deck just to learn something. Because otherwise, what's the point about if you don't learn about it? You know. That's true. That's cool. Um, I wanted to ask you about the first guy you played. Uh, I think I played him before. Um, he had a Commandermon deck, no? Did, did he play? Yes, yeah. I played him beforehand as a as a test game too. I played that guy. Mm. Um, yeah, he wasn't bad. I think. What did you think of his deck? It was good. It was faster. Like, like, like compared to like maybe my deck. It, his was faster than yours. I faster. feel like there's little things you could take from him. But I think overall, you have bigger plans that would do cooler things. But yeah. his happened faster. You know what I mean? Like, he didn't get as much cool lock shit. Like, your you're kind of, you're deck kind of locked me after a while. Right. His didn't do that. But he whittled me away so quick. Mm-hmm. Like that, it, it didn't matter because it was already game before I got a chance to really build my shit up. Yeah, because I played him last time in a tournament, and I, I, I oh, went, you had played him before. I played him in a tournament last time, and we we're both commander bonds because oh, I went shit. into commander bond last time. So like we we're like doing the exact same shit. We knew exactly what we, each other were doing, and said like he had a couple of cards that were different than what I had. One of the main things he had that I didn't have was that Mechanorimon. I'm not sure if he came across him or the not. Blocker that he's a blocker that unblocks himself if you get hit by. Yeah, he survives. Yeah, he had it. Yeah, he had it. That's right. I remember that. Yeah. Um, that was the only thing that was different. Uh, but we're pretty much playing the same shit. But yeah. now now there's been new cards out since then, so I'm wondering like what he's doing different now. You know, um, I wish I would have um I since he was the very first person I practiced played against, mm-hmm. I didn't get to side deck him. I wish I could have side decked him and see what I could do different, like to mess with that. Right. You know, but yeah, he wasn't bad though. He was pretty good. Yeah, I just feel like he he kind of got a lot of early level threes and made sure to attack with them early, and he put me in a really bad spot early in the game when I played him. I think that's the only difference between him and you. Mm. A little more aggression. Right. Yeah. Okay. Interesting. Yeah, but yeah, other than that, um, green hybrids everywhere. That was a crazy thing in the tournament. I, don't, I so. think I played one green hybrid, and I don't remember it. Both of the good players I played were doing green. No, no. One of the good players I played was doing green hybrid, and Will fought somebody really good who he beat, actually. Will fought someone who was one of the best players there, and Will beat him. That was hilarious, the story, too, because, like, when they when they called, like, you know, the next round, you know, they called Wags and whoever, whoever, you know? And that whoever guy was like, I'm not moving, just come to me. And I was like, I bet, like everyone was just like, what a bitch, you know? Like, that's what I was thinking, right? Yeah. So, you know, Wags went over to him, played him, you know, and then kicked his ass. <laughs> yeah, he was very humble. He, just, he was even talking shit to him a little bit, like, yeah. about his about his ranking and his last match and shit. Oh, yeah. He was talking shit to him, and Will beat his ass. <laughs> Two rounds, I'm like, oh, shit, Will. I'm like, you that's kicked that fool's ass. 
Yeah, and he was like, yeah. a, I think he ended up winning that tournament, but you know, he didn't beat Willow. No, but he didn't beat Willow. <laughs> <laughs> oh, okay, good shit, Wags. That's uh, hilarious. Yes, the tournament went well. It was, will for for knowledge, for information, because I feel like next time I play one, I'll be way better. I just gotta get this deck to be faster. Uh, and the guy, who, like I said, who I played that actually played a few like a few big tournaments, he was saying like, honestly, you should just wait for BT eight to do what you're trying to do, because like there'll be more Imperial Dramon support. Right. Because there's some broken shit coming in BT eight. Anyway. Yeah. There's like dragon. Uh, no, I mean, fighter mode and, and paladin, paladin mode coming out. Yeah. Uh, and there's blue green splits too. Yeah, I'm like, there's oh. all that coming out too. I think there's even another dragon mode coming too, like a, a different version of dragon mode. Like I'm like, fuck. Uh, you know what? I have not. Oh, it's right here. I forgot. Like we got tournament packs too. What'd you get? Oh. Um. I completely. I got Chimera Mon. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. I got a dope looking right. Chimera Mon, and yeah. you got Lady. Debbie. Yeah, Lady Debbie. I forgot. I completely forgot about that. I haven't even like looked at it. Still in this. Cards are hard to find now, and now you have one with alt art. Yeah, yeah. That's... I got an alt art. Uh, Lady Debbie. Even the regular ones are hard to find now, dude. Yeah, <laughs> like, they're they worth are. a lot of money. Yeah, like um, like uh, for for my birthday, Anne bought me like a couple of packs, and um, I pulled out one Lady Debbie out of like I think it was four, like the four pack thing, you know. Yeah. I was like hoping to get something cool. Coolest thing I got out of everything was the Lady Debbie. Even That's though it's like, it's like it's a rare too. It's not even like but not even super rare. It's not even one of the super rares or anything like that. Yeah. But now I have. I think I have probably eight now. There you finally. go. Two sets. Yeah. Uh, other things in my focus week. I had watched, um, I started watching the show Yellow Jackets. Have you heard about this? No. Oh, man, it's so fucking crazy. It's like, I guess it's kind of a horror show, but it's like Lost. Ooh. Like like uh, this, this girl's soccer team, I think. Or like the soccer or volleyball? I think they're soccer. And they're like a championship team, and they're going for a big-ass match somewhere, and they got fucking, their, their plane got fucked up, and they got stranded on the island. Oh, wow, yep. And you know, and what's, Three what's worse than being, tour. right? <laughs> well, what's the only thing worse than being stranded on an island? Uh, being stranded on an island, mm, I don't know. I feel like you were actually going to get pretty close. Just say what you're going to say right now. I, I didn't know what I was going to say. Being stranded on an island with a bunch of people you don't like. Yeah, you're pretty close. Yeah. <laughs> being stranded on an island with cannibals. Oh, okay, yeah. That's that's, that's like the same thing. <laughs> <laughs> so Basically, good, yeah. Good job, AJ. Well, you it guess... depends on the cannibals, you know, if you, you know, kind of cooperate <laughs> somehow. Yeah. Well, that's what the show's about. And, uh, you maybe, know, Flash Forward. Maybe they can eat the people that you don't like, you know? Yeah, somebody's going that route. In oh, the shit. <laughs> but, you know, anyway. Yeah, it's a pretty interesting show. It's like Lost because they, trans- they fast forward to them off the island and then while they're on the island. And it's like, oh, shit. Like, once they're in the future, once they've gotten out and, like, how fucked up they are, their life is after that shit. It's pretty crazy. It's a good show. That's interesting. What's Ye- it called? Yellow Jackets. Where is it at? Uh, Showtime. Where you see, wherever oh. you watch Dexter, that's okay. where it is at. Yeah. Um, have you seen that new Dexter? You know what? Now that I have Showtime, I should. Hmm. I can now. I should. Yeah, I forgot about that. Did you watch it yet? No, I haven't heard anything or seen Damn. it. Damn. We should watch the first episode. Man. Anyway. Uh, what else did I do? I think that's about it. I watched that. Oh, I, 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 do think I, I do think I saw a movie. You know, one other thing I did, I, I was at Target, and I saw freaking My Hero Academia playing cards, like, the universe shit. I was like, what the fuck? So I definitely bought Damn, they had them at Target? At Target, dude. Actually, Wags like, hit me up. Like, he actually like, look what I found right now at Target. I was like, oh, snap. And then the next day, I went, I happened to be at Target. Oh. And I was like, oh, shit, they actually do have them. One other unfocused thing, because I don't think we're going to talk about it too much. We might as well talk about it now. Uh, I saw some of the Oscars, mainly the part where Will slapped the shit out of Chris Rock. <laughs> slapped the taste out of his mouth, bro. Yeah, like I saw like a bunch of memes like happening. I was like, wait a minute. What what the fuck's happening? And I went on Twitter and everyone was talking about it. I was like, oh, shit. And you know, then I jumped on real? YouTube and huh? people already had fucking uh, like uh, uh, videos up about it. And even freaking, you know, the uh, these these, uh, these dudes that do like random skits sometimes, RDC World One, I think is what they're called. Mm-hmm. Uh, they do like anime, like you know, like uh, you know, funny shit, like little skits, right? They freaking threw a Will Smith one out right away, like literally like twenty minutes after that shit happened. They made a skit, kind of like, <laughs> oh, here's what happened afterwards, you know, just kind of making fun of it. That's fucking. Crazy. And I was like, what the heck? The guys are quick. Oh, man, but and the internet's on it, bro. They don't play around. And then all the memes that came out. I hear people calling a, a Will Smith slap a, a, a two frame fucking slap. Hey, like oh, how pass it was. Speaking of that, look, see, we start talking about that and like tai we get with the, uh, the subscribe things. <laughs> yeah, the fighting game references. <laughs> <laughs> you see, look. It's hilarious. Wait, look what he's walking around. Like how he's glowing. Like, you know how yeah. you already have the super, but yeah. you haven't activated it? Yeah. 
Is this bar is already glowing? Oh shit, it's a fucking seven. <laughs> we gotta post this one. Look. <laughs> It's yeah. hilarious. Just because just you made a fighting game reference, I had to make sure you saw yeah, that. Yeah, no, I saw a couple of fighting game references. One too, like um, like I seen shit like that. Uh, I saw one with hitbox. You know when you play like uh, in training mode, you can put the hitboxes on, and you know you'll. I saw that where Will oh. Smith had the like blue, like blue boxes on him, and then Chris Rock was the red yeah, boxes. You know what I thought that was? I actually thought that was a Dune reference to the old Dune movie. Oh, because their shields look fucking whack, like like straight up CGI, like right, 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 like old CGI blocks. I thought that was a reference to that. Like you know how like they wouldn't go through the shields and shit. But, yeah. like, but no, you're right. I think it was more like it's that. Like hitbox boxes. references, yeah. <laughs> it's fucking funny, dude. Yeah. Right, but I mean, that's a... Oh, one other cool thing to say about the Oscars that actually is connected There's to our M- podcast. There's an MK X-Ray 1, says so Oh, Taichi. my God. Well, with, with, a, with a skeleton cra- break? <laughs> oh, that's funny. That's hilarious. Uh, one thing I do want to say about the Oscars that actually has something to do with our podcast. It didn't get Best Picture, but fucking Dune won a lot of shit. Yeah, yeah. Dune won a lot of categories. I'm fucking glad. I still wish they would have got best director, he, which he didn't even nom- get nominated for as bullshit. But you know, at least they got all that other stuff. And I did one thing in my focus week I didn't mention. Oh, that's fucking funny. <laughs> <laughs> one thing I didn't uh, mention that I did that I did do for my focus week. <laughs> um, <clears throat> you may forget what I was saying, AJ. <laughs> um. God damn you, AJ. He messed me up, man. I don't remember what I was Dune saying. Dune should have won more or some shit like that. Uh, oh, yeah. One, I saw one. Coda, which is the movie that ended up winning Best Picture. And I saw it like right before. Uh, yeah, that movie's fucking amazing. Yeah, see, I thought that was a Dune reference, but yeah, it's a hitbox. I, I get hitboxes. it now. Uh, yeah, I saw the movie that won Best Picture right before, and I was like, damn, that movie was really good. And I, I remember watching that movie like, I won't be mad if this beats Dune. <laughs> and then, <laughs> guess what? It fucking took Best Picture. And I was like... Right, cool. That's cool. I heard, um, what was it? Apple was like one of the first ones to win like best film or something yeah, like that. That's, that's what I'm talking about. Well, Coda. First, oh, Coda. That's best picture. Yeah. yeah they okay, won for Apple. The one. It's the yeah. first streaming movie to ever go. win best picture. Yeah. That's exactly what I was going to say right now. Yeah. So that, that was cool to hear. It, it deserved, so it, deserved it. It's okay. really good, dude. It's really good. It's about a girl who can hear and she takes care of her deaf family, like her brother and her mom. Oh, and okay. And it's just crazy. It's really good. It's not a sad, it has sad moments, but it's not as sad as it sounds. It's actually a really good movie, like entertaining and shit. You know, I think you, it's it's pretty cool all around. Uh, yeah, I think that's about it for my focus week. Is there anything else you want to say? Uh, you copy that Scott Pilgrim CD yet? Is that part of your focus week? No. Copy oh it. shit, that's still there. Yeah. All right. <laughs> no, I got nothing. All right. So with that said, wait, we got a review before we do the news, right? Oh, I guess we could do that. Uh, do we have music for the review? Yeah, we do. Review music. Review music. So I'm guessing we're doing spoilers. Yeah. Uh, not of the Batman, though, but of uh, something that came out on Marvel. Where is my spoiler topic? Spam. Oh my god, what's it called again? Moon Knight. Does everyone know it's Marvel's Moon Knight? <laughs> So it came out yesterday, last night, technically today, Wednesday. Um, it's just one episode, right? Yeah, bullshit, right? Yeah. Uh, is this the first time we only got one episode? Maybe. Oh, no, we got one episode for What If. But yeah, okay, Maybe, so for yeah. this one and What If, I think the only ones where we got one episode. Which, you know, I think this one would have been served to give us two episodes. I feel like I feel like I think WandaVision was one episode but it no, was we got two. long no no we got two for like, one that first episode was long though no we got the first it two was two okay they just both happened to be black and white episodes mm. but, but there were there was two for one division okay one division was two okay and you know what i really long. i really like this one but i do feel like for me okay let me start what did you think about it first off before i say anything it was interesting like i it didn't like grab me grab me right away though like it was just interesting just to see what's going on but i feel like everything i saw in this episode was shit i saw in the trailers i felt that too almost all the trailers are here yeah which is good i like that yeah that means almost everything from here is shit we've never seen true i like that yeah but no you're right uh you know i liked it a lot and i feel like it was perfect for me i'm a horror fan i like slow burn shit okay i already know shit about moon knight i don't exactly that's what i mean i feel like this is perfect for me maybe not perfect for the average watcher which I feel like they they maybe should have put two episodes out. Yes, you know, just, just so people could really get a better idea of what the fuck is happening exactly, here. Exactly. Yeah. Um. So, Marvel kind of zigged where they should have zagged on that one. Um. Now, 
That being said, I thought it was really fucking good. I liked the suspense. I liked that it was always, I was always on my seat. I liked that I was like, huh? Yeah. Like the whole time, every time something happened, which was a lot of dope things did happen in that <laughs> episode, but I was like, what's going on? Like, what the fuck? Uh, yeah, I liked that it kept me on my toes and it was nonstop. Yeah. Taichi said this is the first uh, one that doesn't have a connection to the larger MCU yet. Like everything else has a reference. We kind of know where we're going, where we're coming from. Mm -hmm. This is one of the first ones like we don't know anything. There's no connection like straight off the bat. Mm -hmm. And so that's, that's probably why it felt the way it felt to, to me. And Oscar Isaac said in this one with this with Moon Knight, he's trying to make his Iron Man, his own Iron Man. Hmm. That was his exact words. And at first when I watched, when I heard him say that, I was like, what? Because Moon Knight's nothing like Iron Man, yeah. you know? But when I saw this episode, I'm like, I get what he's saying. He wants you to care about the character and their issues. And, like, groundedly, you, you're you wondering what the fuck is going on with Stephen Grant. Like, is he going to be okay? Or, like, you know, what, what's his deal? And why is he called Mark, you know? Yeah, why are they calling it Mark? <laughs> All this shit, you know? With the C. You know, so it's like you care about... I think he means to make you care about the character... Be, like the, the actual character before you care about them as a superhero. Right. Because I do. I'm like, what the fuck is up with this guy? Like, yeah. <laughs> yeah, no, like, I, I got those vibes too. Like, I like what he's doing there, like, chinning himself up, you know, because he, he suspects, he knows he has an issue where he doesn't know where he gets, yeah, where he goes. He doesn't know what's going on. So he chains himself up, has all these, like, things he does. <laughs> Puts tape on the wall, door, sand the door. around his bed. Yeah, the sand thing. I'm like, why is this? I'm like, oh, I get it now. The footprint. That's pretty clever. But then, like, you know, what are the chances that your personality, your other personality doesn't know the steps, you know? Like, I yeah, don't know. I, like, I, that's, <laughs> it, it's a scary cat and mouse game if you think about it. Like, cause yeah. you're wondering how much, how, if this, yeah, first you're off, like, you're how in, much you know. Yeah. <laughs> first off, speaking from the the concept that you might uh, have a separate personality, first off, yeah. you got to take that as, as a possibility in your reality first. Okay. I might be somebody else, too. No, second half, <laughs> I'm going to play this cold chess game with myself to see how much my other self knows. Yeah. Which I'm guessing from what we saw, it knows all his tricks, right? I'm, it seems like that. Like, like it he just puts he, the tape back. He and knows just, nothing, but, the, like, his other person knows everything, it seems, which yeah. kind of sucks. I, and, man, the best one was the fucking fish. Yeah. Where he was like, no, no, no. He grabbed the fish out of the sea and said, no, no, no. What the fuck? <laughs> yeah. He was like, this fish had one fin yesterday. <laughs> How many fins does it have now? Two. And did you notice she said, it's just like I told you yesterday. Yeah. Which, uh, what I'm hoping yeah. for, <laughs> what I'm hoping for is that we see the whole day played out again, like the whole episode played out again, but from the oh, other... Oh, like we'll go back? Yeah. Oh, that'd be so cool. Or we see Mark Spector's perspective. Exactly. Or kind of just piece it out maybe through future episodes. Like, oh, be this is what happened that day. That would be really cool. Yeah. Yeah. And um, I like how Ethan Hawke's character is scary, even though I don't know absolutely anything about what he's doing, except that maybe he's a cult leader. That's what it looks like so far. Other than that, though, I'm like, I know nothing about you, but you scare me for some reason. That's pretty cool. Yeah. Um, great. If they were going to do that, they should give us two episodes, right? That's what we're <laughs> saying. We feel the same way, Tai Chi. We're, we're confused. But um, yeah, I, I also like the fact that he blacks out, and then we just pick up after he's done terrible things to people. <laughs> I was like, oh, shit. Yeah. And, that, and I was like, man, what if I could get out of my problems that way? <laughs> like, you just in this horrible situation, you just black out, and everyone's yeah. on the ground, like, fucked up, like, damn, nice. And you're just going to keep doing what you're doing? Like, <laughs> but, yeah, like, I'm hoping to see, like, those scenes and how they played out. Uh, what I'm wondering, too, now is, like, when he would black out in those moments, was he, like, just a normal dude, or did he transform into Moon Knight in those... In those um, cards, you know that I'm not sure about because at the end that's what happened yeah it, it, I'm not really sure exactly but I will say in the comics it could be either one he could just be switching personalities and you know it's the that's the mercenary who is Mark Spector hmm. and he's just good at fucking hand-to-hand -hand combat but sometimes it, he's blacking out because he turns into Moon Knight hmm. so I can't call it I don't know what what's been happening every time you're right Tetsu says, yo, that dislocated jaw was pretty nasty. That was pretty nasty. I was like, what I know. the fuck is wrong with his face right now? It looks so real, too. I was yeah, like, and then when he like corrected his jaw, I'm like, oh, shit. That was pretty good. Um, and yeah, just wondering how he ended up like that, too. Like, where the fuck am I? Why is my jaw like dislocated? I'm on the floor in the middle of nowhere. Like, that's all some crazy shit. But yeah, so it feels like a, almost like a mystery in a way, too. Yeah, it's like he's solving the mystery of himself, which is, yeah. is scary. <laughs> it's a scary concept. 
I was going to say something else about that. Oh, yeah. So how many personalities is he supposed to have? Because I feel like at the end, that whole mirror to mirror thing made it seem like he had more than just the other personality, just the two. Well, at the root, he has three. Oh, shit. But, well, I guess technically four. Uh, but really, he also has, if he's really crazy and all this Moon Knight shit ain't real, which is a possibility... In the comics, they're like, maybe this shit isn't real. Maybe all this wow. is in his head. Okay. Then maybe he has five personalities because Konshu would be another one. Hmm. If it's not real. If it's real, that's that's just a separate entity that's giving him power, you know? That's fucking... Okay. Wild, right? I want to know if he's going to be like <laughs> Sensui or something. That's what I'm wondering about. That Well, that's the whole... Yeah, it's kind of <laughs> like that. Um, but then... So here's we get to the Sensui part, right? He has issues where he starts thinking that he's Spider-Man or that he's Wolverine. Oh, wow. And he actually even gets some of their abilities when he fucking trips out and thinks he's them. And he starts acting like them and shit, like in a lot of ways. That's interesting. It's really fucking weird and like creepy and interesting. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, and I wonder if one day, you know, his personality disorder is going to get so out of control that he starts turning into other superheroes or like mimicking them and shit. Like, you know, like everyone's like, then what the fuck is wrong? Taskmaster. No, dun, dun, dun. <laughs> nah. But, uh, but yeah, I don't know. I don't know how out of control, they're, how far they're going to take this. Cause he gets pretty nuts in the comics. So, okay. Yeah. Like I have no clue what to expect from this character at all. I don't know anything about him from the comics. So right now I'm just going along for the ride. Like, okay, what's going Do you on? Want, you want a little Figure context? You want a quick brief context of who he is? I guess, if it helps. Do you want me to tell you? Or you sure, want to... yeah. Okay. So, Mark Spector is actually the guy, the pilot in the comics. And Stephen Grant is one of the other personalities mm. that he uses to trick himself into thinking he's not anybody special. Mm. So, he makes this, like, Peter Parker weak motherfucker that gets stepped on by everybody and right. shit. So, he kind of believes that. Okay. Um, but Mark Spector is actually the real him. Huh. And what happens is Mark Spector decides to be a good guy. He, he's a mercenary that kills for money and fights for money and shit, oh, right? Oh, wow, okay. Uh, but he decides to be a good guy one day and, like, makes a, you know, goes goes on the straight and narrow. He's like, you know what? I'm only going to work for good people and shit, right? He does this, and then his whole unit betrays him and kills him on a mission in Egypt, right? And then the god Konshu, which is the statue which he's dying under, you know, and where they kill him, he's dying under an Egyptian god statue. And then he, he uh, that God speaks to him and says, yo, I'll save your life if you promise to pledge your life to me. And it's, oh. like, and it's like, I'll give you my, my energy and my abilities. And then you can fucking, you, you know, you work for me, but you can live on and continue to be Mark Spector, you know? And he's like, fuck it, I'll do it, you know? I want revenge on these motherfuckers. And then, so then he fucking wakes up, he becomes Moon Knight, comes back to life supposedly, and fucks all these fools up. But again, in the comics, they also kind of imply that maybe that whole thing never happened, and he's fucking crazy. <laughs> you know, so, that's crazy. But that's the idea in the comics, and then right. Mark Spector is just uh, Stephen Grant. Like I said, is one thing to like uh, to confuse himself and his enemies, so they don't think that he's Moon Knight. That's one personality. The other one is a guy called Jake Lockley, and he's a cab driver. That's that's like a dirty cab driver that goes to the grimy parts of New York and fucking drives around shitty people and bad people and that's how Moon Knight learns about how to fuck people up like who's bad and who he should be fucking up and who he should be going oh, wow. after, right? And then there's another superhero persona he has called Mr. Knight. Mr. Knight. Yes, uh, you can look him up if you want, but Mr. Knight is like a detective, <laughs> and you know he uh, he's kind of classy. He doesn't like to get his hands quite as dirty as Moon Knight does. Mm -hmm. And he's a little funny. He's a little odd. He's a little bit weird. He wears a suit, you know? He's, he wears all white and shit. Yeah, Mr. Knight. And uh, I feel like we're going to see that personality in the show, too. Interesting. Okay. Yeah. I want to throw this picture up here if I can, because Tai Chi says this is a scene that he wants to see um, in, the, uh, in the show or something like that. Wow. That's fucking hilarious. So that'd be a cool way to fucking bring the, together the uh, 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 Netflix stuff together. He's like, you still crazy? A little <laughs> bit. You still murder people? A little bit. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, so uh, interesting freaking concept with this character. Like, let's see how much they actually do with it. See what the actual origin is. Yeah, I don't know what they're going to do. Yeah. All right. But yeah. So, but we'll, so, what's your overall thought with it then? I love it. You love it so it's far. Good so far. Okay. Cool. You? Yeah. 
Um, I like it so far, but like, what the fuck? I'm not, I'm not, I'm not to the loving it point yet. You're still in the what the fuck phase. Yeah, right? I'm still like, what the like, what the fuck's happening right now? Like, you know, because anything can start off pretty good, but then when it gets further into it, then you're like, okay, no, that's a waste of my time. So I'm, mm -hmm. I'm like, I'm interested. I, I'm not that interested to say like, okay, I want to see what's next. Okay. Not because I like it right now, but because I'm just interested. That's yeah. where I'm at with it right now. You, sh uh, you should read the comics that Chris let me borrow about Moon Knight. It's like a six issue, one and done thing. Yeah, I thought it was all telling one big story, but each issue is about something totally fucking different about oh, wow. Moon Knight, and it, it gives you a really good perspective as to how crazy he is, because you're, you're lost every issue. You're like, wait, is this continuing from that last thing? And like, sometimes it is, sometimes it's not, and you're just like, what the fuck? It makes you feel oh, like yeah. him, like crazy and shit. Where is he based in exactly right now, too? London. He's in London. Yeah, he's a, he's a British hero. I mean, he's from Egypt. Yeah. But he fights crime in London and okay. England, and eventually he comes to New York. I see. Fights crime there, too. All right. Yeah, because that's, that's also what I was wondering. Which, this might be one of the first Marvel characters we have not in America? Besides the Eternals. For, and Black Panther. Yeah, besides Black Panther and Eternals. And Shang-Chi. <laughs> okay. And Black Widow. <laughs> and, mm, I guess so, yeah. Yeah, they're fighting in Russia, right? Yeah, yeah, they were, yeah. That's about it, though. Yeah, there's yeah. not much. There's yeah. not much. There's not much, though, yeah, okay. I guess uh, Hulk was in Brazil for a little bit too, though, right? <laughs> yeah, he wasn't saving nobody. He was picking shit up. <laughs> All right. But yeah, okay, that's Moon Knight, and we'll definitely come back next week with more second episode and all that. Yeah. But yeah. That being said, should we just go ahead and jump right into some news, Age? Okay. Yeah, great this is the news. The news. The news. Yeah. <laughs> the news. Yeah. <laughs> hilarious man that's just too funny dude i don't know why i just get with the, with the phrase before he hits it yeah no <laughs> perfect right <laughs> the cutscene animation you yeah. imagine <laughs> all right so in uh some news uh will smith slapped the shit out of chris rock I'm just kidding. dang <laughs> all right i'll kick us off though outside of that uh diablo immortal uh you know about that right the new phone game oh coming. yeah it's still not out yet no no but it's coming out soon um yeah, I didn't know this takes place between Diablo 2 and 3. I didn't know that either. I'm like, I, w I hope there's like a little YouTube video I can watch that tells me the story of this game. Yeah. Because I don't want to play it. I just want to fucking know the story of it. Yeah, I thought I thought it was going to be just like uh, Diablo 3 on mobile. I thought, I thought it was, like, it's not. I, I feel like that's what I was led to believe too. But yeah. no, this is actually a fresh story written by the same creators. I wonder it, if they did that because there was so much backlash when that game was announced. Because mm. people were like, all right, again, new Diablo 4 announcement. They came out with, oh, Diablo on mobile. And there was like, the fuck? Even someone. I remember that. I was mad. Too. Yeah, because they also have like a Q&A too where people, fans, because this is at BlizzCon, right? So there's fans there. And mm -hmm. fans are able to come up to a mic and ask questions. And someone came up was like, so was the announcement of this game a joke? Like, it, what's the real thing? Like, he literally came up and asked, is this a joke? Damn. Yeah. So I guess uh, now I'm wondering now, like, oh, did they go back and rewrite the story of this game? So I would not be surprised. It'd be the smart it, move if it, it wasn't already fans like a that. a reason to, to like it. Yeah. It already tells me I'm already more interested than I was initially when they talked about it just because of that. You know, I'm like, oh, that's kind of cool. But uh, anyway. Oh, yeah. And then they responded. Blizzard responded, like, don't you have phones? <laughs> <laughs> like, like, cause, like, they're like, why, why are you putting this on? And you're like, well, don't you have phones? All right. <laughs> <laughs> and how's that's from Blizzard? That's a <laughs> quote. Um, but yeah, the interesting thing about, I found about this game, when you, how can I put this? I want to put this the right way. When you change your class, mm -hmm. you know, like from Paladin to, let's say, Assassin rank, you keep your rank and your level. Oh, and shit. And all your jewels and all your money. Wow. Right? Okay. So here's what they say specifically. When you change your class, you'll retain all your progress on Paragon levels. You'll receive a new set of equipped items appropriate to your new class, and you can transfer all of your item progress and gems to them. None of your old equipped items or stash will be lost, and your progress or on heretic vessels and the heliquary will stick around too. So damn, bro! All your abilities that's that you weird. In your, in your tree skill and shit has. But yeah, but like, does that mean you have to redo the tree skill though? At least, or does the tree skill Diab like Diablo three doesn't have a tree? Um, Diablo two has a tree, but in Diablo three, you learn an ability, and then. You just have it. And oh, then, yeah, you and told then, me this then, is yours, and yeah, you can and then, choose and then, to use it or not. And then you learn another ability later on, and it's just there. And then later on, you can switch between them, and you can power them up differently by adding different ruins to them. Mm. Uh, and you can change the style of that move. So you might have, like, a normal energy blast, but later on, you can turn it into, like, a fireball, or you can turn it into an ice ball, mm. shit like that. That's cool. Um, it's kind of weird. And then you have different... Uh, 
I don't remember it. I'm trying to go back, like thinking about like there's like different types of attacks you could have too. Like I don't know. It's weird, but I can see like where it's not going to be that complicated to transfer that over. I like that. I mean, that I hope whenever they make a Diablo four or whatever the fuck we're getting next, whenever the fuck we're getting it, mm. that they keep that concept. Cause that'd be cool. Yes, I'm, and, I'm, and no. Like th- this way makes it way too easy to play it, and and like people can just you can just change whatever you want to do like right away. I think a lot of people like even I was like after playing it for a while, I was like, it doesn't feel that fun anymore. Something about that was cool about Diablo Two is like you, you you're creating a character, and if you fuck up, you just fuck up, right? Um, uh, that's true. Like yeah. That that whole tree <clears throat> thing was pretty cool, but this one just made it too easy. I feel like it'd be better if maybe like everything transfers except for you have to learn the abilities again. Like, you know, <clears throat> let's say you keep your level and shit. You keep your level, you keep your power, you keep your money. I say but the, your I actual say the... ski- tree skill it goes back to zero now that you're a paladin. You have to work for all those paladin or, skills. Or, or unless, rather, than, instead of that, re- like, reset everything to zero, but then you still have all your points, and then you can just start adding your points into it real quick. Oh, that'd be pretty cool. Build it up. I'd like that. Maybe do it. But that's kind of what it, oh, that's kind of how the system is like already. I see, I see. And then you just recalculate what you want with this now? Yeah. That's interesting. But I think that what they have here is better for mobile phones because you don't want to sit there for freaking three hours on your phone grinding a new character, you know? No, nobody's going to want to do that. Yeah, this way. That's you, why they did this. Yeah, right? so <laughs> you can just, you know, change classes right away and then just jump right into it. That's what you want to do with mobile games is, you know, be able to just pick it up and play it without all the setup going on. So I can see why they're doing that. It's yeah. interesting. Yeah, it is interesting. And I'm surprised this game's not even out yet. This 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 game was announced like five years ago at this point. Wait, Immortal? No, yeah. it, was like, it was like a year ago, right? No, it was not a like year ago. Two years ago? ago? No, it was pre-pandemic for sure. Yeah, that's two years ago. Way before that, though. Really? I swear it's been like four or five years. No. Yeah. No. Immortal? Yeah. This mobile phone version? Yeah. Really? It's been announced forever it ago. It can't be that long. It's no been, way. Let's see if we can look it up then. Diablo Immortal. If it's 2017 or beyond, like you said, I'll be very surprised. That's crazy. I didn't. Maybe I just wasn't on my radar like that. 2018. Oh, that's close. Yeah, you're almost. Yeah, you're, you're pretty close to being right. That's way pretty. pretty four years. Yeah, four years ago. You're, yeah, man, that's freaking crazy. Weird. Man. Okay. That's plenty of time to rewrite it and change everything. You're right. Yeah, <laughs> you know exactly. I mean? That's yeah. plenty Make of time. a whole new story and all that. Yeah. yeah like, actually, it's between two and three and not, <laughs> not the yeah, same. Yeah, we didn't tell you this earlier, but. We were getting there. <laughs> um, so. So they're trying, to, uh, they're trying out a Japanese-style class system that they do in, like, uh, Final Fantasy, I think, Tai Chi. I, I guess so. I mm. don't play too many of those type of games. I, I know there's a big game out right now called uh, Genshin Impact. I think it's a mobile game, too. I'm I'm wondering if they're trying to go that route with it. I have never played that game, though. I know it's super popular, though. There's fucking fandoms out there already about the game and cosplayers and shit like that. But uh, maybe they're trying to go that route. I don't know sure what the system is like in that, though. Hmm. Yeah. All right. Um, other. This is actually some sad news, uh, especially to us '90s kids and shit. Uh, but Bruce Willis is retiring from acting. Uh, and it's not because he wants to; it's because he has to. He has a disease called asphyxia. Uh, I was gonna uh, say, uh, like, does, does anyone ever retire from acting, though? Yeah, some do, but no, I think he's having to. He has something called apatia. Sorry, and this is uh, an ability that messes with his cognitive skills, so he's not able to communicate as well. Oh, that sucks. Yeah, so even his daughter had to announce this for him. You know, right. like, yeah. So I'm like, damn, that fucking sucks. I'm like, it's a legend, man. Fucking legend. Not only Die Hard, but. M- you know, if you're a nerd like us, Fifth Element, man. Mm. He's a fucking hero of Fifth Element. Live action Spike yeah. from Bebop, you know? Live action... Uh, Ocean's 12. Gene Starwin. Yeah, Ocean's 12. Yeah, yeah he's that <laughs> But yeah. They but, do like, oh, is it like Unbreakable or which one? Unbreakable, is yeah. It, is it Unbreakable? Yeah. Unbreakable. It's too bad, man. Bruce Willis is great. Uh, so yeah, sad news. Uh, on some brighter news, uh, they are rebooting the Spy Kids movie. And this will also be made... Didn't they reboot it already? No. Did they? I feel like they did. Are you sure? I'm not, I'm not 100%, but I feel like they did. You mean like continued with continued again with the same people though, right? Oh, I don't know This is going to be a straight up reboot with Just new... a whole new reboot, whole new kids and everything? Yeah, made, oh, okay. made by Netflix. I don't think they did that. Yeah. Um, yeah, uh, made by Netflix. But guess what? 
the original director is coming back. Robert mm. Rodriguez will be making this Spy Kids. Oh, that's cool. Now, I've never seen Spy Kids, but I am not stupid, and I know how fucking well like this movie is, not only in the movie community, but in the nerd community, too. Everyone loves this fucking yeah, movie. I think I, my siblings watched it and liked it. Yeah, dude. I, I know adults that watched that movie and said, yo, that yeah. movie was good. Like you, you should watch it. I've like, never seen it. Yeah, me either. I haven't gotten around to it. I think it's, it's probably like a fun action movie, but... Some fun action movies are just so good that you have to like them. Like, you know, Sky High here is one of those things. Like, it's just mm. like a fun action adventure, but it's so fucking good that everyone loves it. You know, but yeah. I haven't gotten to it. But yeah, you know, I find it hard just to rewatch kid movies. I'm sure I'll have no choice if I, you know, when I have kids, you know, like <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to have to watch this shit. So might as well pick it out now. Right. But yeah, anyway, new Spy Kids. <clears throat> Keep an eye out for that if you're a fan or if you were a fan back in the day. AJ? Um. Yeah, so something that... um. Or do I have the link for it? Or I fuck it up. I think it's right here. Um, Sonic the Hedgehog. So we have a movie coming out pretty soon, right? Yeah. And apparently, um, they they got together, and Tails has his own little. Um, he's starting his own YouTube channel. Damn. Promotional. I'm not sure what they're doing with this, honestly. It's probably promotion because you know they're opening up a whole Sonic verse. Yeah, yeah. That's another thing too that I have a link to this story too that they're, they're, they're talking about doing a whole. Uh, cinematic universe or some shit too. Yeah, there's gonna Sonic be sh- the Hedgehog. Yeah, I think we talked about it. Remember? And yeah, we did talk about there's gonna like, be a Knuckles show, a Knuckles show, and uh, some something else too, like a separate. There's there's like two things they announced. One of them was a Knuckles spinoff show. Oh, we got the third movie announced too, right? So, yeah. Uh, but yeah, the, the Tail Tube thing like uh, sounds pretty cool. They have uh, Sonic over here and also talking and they're answering mail. So they they drop Rogue. They talk about uh, I guess Rogue was kind of mentioned. Uh, Cream gets brought up right here. Amy Rose gets brought up into. So I'm not sure how much of this is going to be connected to either the movie universe or the video game universe. Uh, people are, are saying too because they're talking about their planet and where they're from and all that. There's some cool information in this one video actually, just about Sonic and the world that they live in and all that. They brought up people too, and people are questioning uh, one of these characters in here. Like, does she have something to do with the Sonic Frontier game that's coming out pretty soon? Uh, hmm. I don't know why her specifically they point out. I'm not sure if all these other people are, are recognizable through some other past games or whatever. Um, but that's something that people are looking into uh, watching this video. Uh, but How hyped are you right now? I mean, like, Sonic is moving to prominence and actually looks pretty decent like they're trying. What do you think? I'm like I'm not super super hyped because they've given us cool shit in the past that end up being not that cool yeah, in the end. That's true. So like I'm that's just true. I'm just kind of scared, you know. Like okay, cool. I love all the Sonic shit coming out, but then at the same time I'm like, should I care about it or are you, are you gonna kill this shit like later on where no one's gonna like even like bother with it, you know? Like some of the other possible. shit. So that, that's kind of all I'm worried about here. Um, Eggman. No. <laughs> it, yeah, exactly. Which Eggman is the original, like I know Japanese. It just makes game, me like, mad. Yeah. <laughs> I know, I know everyone else. It makes sense, but to me, it makes they me brought mad. up Chaos Emeralds in here too in this oh, Tales shit. thing, which is like, is that gonna show up in the movie now? Well, we already um, know they're doing the big emeralds, so they gotta yeah. do the Chaos Emeralds eventually. So does that mean we're getting Super Sonic finally yeah, in the movies? Like, I, don't I know. think movie. Th- I think they're gonna save Super Sonic for movie three. Nah. You think he's gonna I, be in this I, one? I think I think he's gonna show up this time. Damn, that'd be nuts. And then also, too, um, about Sonic Frontier, which is the new game coming out. It's supposed to be the open-world Sonic. And they kind of tease uh, a few months ago. Um, supposing there might be some teasers about that in this in this video as well. But one other thing I didn't know is that Ian Flynn is actually uh, like uh, producing it or writing the, the game or something like that. Who the fuck is that? Ian Flynn is the uh, writer for the IDW comic right now. Oh, shit. And I think he did a lot of writing for the previous Archie series as well. So he has like the Sonic universe kind of down, right? So the fact that hit, they're including him as part of the game now means that the comic books might be more tied into the game than we think, uh, which that's already kind of showing. That's that already. pretty cool. I'm, I'm sure that that doesn't get you hyped. <laughs> so that kind of gives me like more work. Now I feel like I got to go and play the game just to keep up the stories and shit. <laughs> You're like you know? I'm not hyped. That makes more work for me. That's <laughs> yeah, funny. I was like, fuck, why are you connected all this shit? I'm already behind in the comics. Um, but yeah, so that's kind of all the uh, Sonic info right now that I kind of gathered and uh, seems interesting. Uh, I I'm, I'm think this whole Tales Tube thing is going to be like a, 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 a series, like maybe a weekly thing, maybe monthly thing. I don't know, but um, go, go look for it on YouTube, Tales Tube. Um, it looks like he's trying to be like a VTuber or something like that. Oh, we have no roundup, right? No, we don't. Okay. Uh, quick piece of news here. Uh, Michael Bay is promoting his new movie Ambulance, you know, pointing out, you know, this, this, oh, yeah, this, and this yeah, trailers and, and, and the uh, billboards and stuff like that ads out there. Yeah. 
So he was promoting it today. He's like, yeah, a lot of the stuff we did, the car flips, you know, the explosions, all, he's like, all that shit's real. You know, we really did that. That's real stuff. Yeah, it was Michael, very Michael Bay of yeah. him, you know? True. But he does go on to say it. Some of the CGI in this movie is shit. And I'm like, he's like, I wasn't happy with it. I, I don't like how it was done or whatever. It's like, uh, which is really surprising. because Michael, Michael Bay. Yeah, usually that's the whole thing that he, like, is pretty yeah. happy about and pretty proud of. But, you know, apparently the CGI sucks. I don't know if the studio rushed him or what. He sounds pretty mad about it, though. Uh, he doesn't sound like he's happy about that. Yeah, I don't, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know what to say. <laughs> yeah, me either. I'm just like, damn. Uh, also, Michael Bay isn't known for great movies, so it's funny that he would, like, cover his bases in that way. I don't know. Odd. But, yeah. Um, ambulance coming soon. Shitty CGI. Look forward to it. That's what Michael Bay said. So. <laughs> okay. Um, other quick piece of news. Uh, PlayStation combines PlayStation Plus and PlayStation Now. And it's a one-tiered subscription service now. Um, I don't really know how that's going to work. Does anybody, has anyone been feeling that, that, that they combine those? Do you feel any difference in PlayStation Plus and or PlayStation Now now that they blended them together? I don't know. Like, I, I don't have a PlayStation and all that, so I have no clue how this is. But I know it's been kind of weird because I know they have their Plus and their Now service. Uh, basically, it's Game Pass for PlayStation. And Game Pass is something that Xbox does that gives you access to all these games. Uh, and every, I think every month they, they change out, they, they rotate games in and out of it and stuff like that. So you can pretty much play like new games, I, be, I believe, are, are also accessible. So I think that's what Sony's trying to do right now. Uh, this was the uh, subscription service, also formerly known as uh, Spartacus. So this is finally out. And it's, it's basically, I don't even think, did they, did they give it a new name? I think it's just called PlayStation Plus, right? I think they absorbed now. Yeah, and so now I, think, I think now's yeah rolled into it now, or into one of the tiers apparently. Yeah. Um, no, no, it's it's with yeah now I'm Plus or one now, and it says uh, some of the benefits are it provides the same benefits that you're getting giving with PlayStation Plus, two monthly downloadable games, exclusive discounts, cloud storage for save games, online multiplayer access. There are no changes for existing PlayStation Plus members in this tier. So there's, there's tiers though like there's there's different tiers so yeah that's weird there's like other levels to it too so uh, i think now was uh the playstation now shit was in one of the tiers mm. but not all of them i see yeah because now oh okay so then the next one is playstation plus extra yeah which sounds redundant redundant to me playstation plus extra they should have caught a plus ultra they fucking oh that would have been so yeah, good man. oh my they god <laughs> could have got all might to do it damn right? so this one provides all the all the same benefits from the essential tier, whatever the fuck that is. Uh, adds a catalog of up to 400 of the most playable, oh, most enjoyable PS4 and PS5 games, including Blockbuster hits from PlayStation Studios catalog, PlayStation Studios and catalog, and third-party game partners. Um, yeah, Taichi says it's streaming and downloadable rental uh, video games, pretty much, except for PS3 games because supposedly it, uh, the architecture is too complicated to emulate on a, on a PlayStation whatever. 5 or whatever, right? Bullshit. Uh, so no PS3 games. And the last tier is PlayStation Plus Premium. Um, provides all the benefits from essential and extra tiers together. Adds up to 340 additional games on top of the most popular ones. P uh, PS3 games are available via their cloud stream. Oh, that's pretty cool. You get to play PlayStation 3 games. That's tight. Uh, catalog over, of over the cloud, though, meaning that you can't download it. You, you can only so play. You can only stream and you need, it. And you, yeah, you can only stream it, which means you need to have a good like internet connection. Damn, a catalog of beloved classic games available in both streaming and download options from PlayStation, PlayStation Two, and P a PSP generation. That's kind of cool. Oh, PSP. That's cool. Yeah, and Vita too. Mm -hmm. Uh, they didn't say Vita. Offers cloud. Uh, the, the, the article I had said Vita. Okay. Offers cloud streaming access for original PlayStation, PS2, PSP, and PS4 games offered in the extra and premium tiers in the marks. Market, sorry, uh, where PlayStation Now is currently available. Customers can stream games using PS4 and PS5 consoles and PC. Time limited, time limited game trials will also be offered in this tier, so custom customers can try select games before they buy them. Well, that's cool. Oh, the PS Vita thing is only like the benefits you get, like any PS3 and fifty PS bucks Vita. monthly. I'm sorry, no, seventeen ninety nine monthly. Yeah, they have some like weird like uh, pricing tiers too. Like there's like a fifteen dollars a month one, or there's... sixty bucks. Sorry, fifty bucks quarterly, or one hundred and twenty yearly. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah, so there's different types of tiers and all that. I don't have a Sony PlayStation system right now, so I, I technically don't care right now. I got a PS4. I'll yeah, be, I'll be playing it. I play. Um, you know, King of Fighters on there. You're right. 
so yeah so i don't know that's cool good good for them uh, <laughs> good I'll, for I'll hope them. it works uh what's what's cool about the microsoft one maybe maybe i don't know i'm not gonna do it but uh you can if you have a windows computer you can have the xbox game pass shit so you can play xbox games on your computer if sony does some shit like that where you can play all those sony playstation games on your pc and then then we can start talking but that's some, as of uh, right now like i'm like whatever so i don't have a system anymore so right um let's see what else do we want to talk? uh we should talk about zelda oh so. all right <laughs> so we start off with the with the dick move part you know oh you were yeah yeah dick move part for this uh i wasn't going to but it is a dick move oh shit it is huh so i'm gonna All right, so I'm just going to preface AJ's news by saying <laughs> the first part of this news is the bullshit announcement that Breath of the Wild 2 is delayed again. Yep. Motherfuckers. I even waited on the first game for a few years to play it because I'm like, you know what? I'm going to wait until this is complete because we were saying it's not complete. Didn't matter. I'm still waiting for years. Yeah, so the uh, the producer came out. They had like a, little, a short little video saying that the uh, game is being pushed back to spring 2023. Bullshit. He stated that the developers are working uh, diligently on uh, the game and has apologized to the fans and all that stuff for the delay. Um, so, yeah, 2023. Still still waiting on that. Yeah, I don't know. Yeah. Wait, what else do you have to say on that one? I mean, that's about it. Oh, that's about it. Okay. Yeah, that's all I had to say about <laughs> But, yeah, so... To continue to wait. Well, I'm wondering too, like, why they're waiting other than, like, what's so complicated about this game right now that they have to push it back more. Um, and why did they announce it so early? Yeah, exactly. Because Nintendo doesn't really do shit like that where they, they don't announce a game like, like, like years earlier. Like, usually they announce a game like a year before, maybe six months before, and then it's just out. Like, Nintendo's been doing that shit a lot lately. Yeah, they have, huh? Yeah, like all the Pokemon shit. Like the like especially the new Pokemon game, um, and in Splatoon that, that was oh, like a year early, but it's coming out. But yeah. Breath of the Wild Two has been announced like years ago at this point now. Um, I, I've always been wondering too, like are they kind of waiting on the Switch Pro that's been rumored forever? Because uh, this thing is supposed to be like, you know, beautiful looking, right? It's supposed to have the great graphics and all that, and maybe they need the, the Switch Pro, a stronger Switch, to kind of you know showcase it better. I wonder if they're waiting on that. That's my theory. I don't know though. They better hurry up and get on it, man. <laughs> <laughs> maybe the, maybe the Switch Pro is not no longer coming out because I think we had a story about that recently. That like it, it was there was supposed to be a thing, but then now it's no longer a thing. I wonder if they if that like threw them off. Like oh shit, the Switch Pro is not coming out. Okay, we need to like downgrade the graphics now, guys. Let's let's get back in this game and downgrade everything. Maybe that's the thing. I don't know. Could be. And then maybe I broke a bunch of shit. <laughs> Trust me, I know. All right. You, you change one thing, everything breaks. All right. All right. So two pieces of One Piece news. First off. Uh, what? Right? Yeah, man. Two pieces of One Piece news. Uh, so first off, um, you know, I mentioned. Yeah, no, click the first one. No, you go back. Yeah. Um, oh, you're just getting them both ready. Mm-hmm. Sorry. Uh, the first piece of news is Shanks from One Piece has been casted. And ironically, it's this guy from Yellow Jackets, which oh, I wow. just started watching. Peter Gettiet. Uh Yeah, he's casted as Shanks. I see the resemblance. I feel the energy from uh from what I've seen so far. I get it. It's this guy's Shanks. I like it. So I was like, okay, cool. Um, I don't know if he has the the power to portray what Shanks really. Eventually, we realize what he is. You know, like. Mm-hmm. But uh. I don't know what that means, but okay. Personality wise, he feels just like Shanks. So I'm like, oh, very cool. Also, we have never really seen Shanks fight in One Piece, so I guess yeah, he doesn't have to do anything yet. <laughs> I'm like we were, we're a thousand and sixteen episodes in, and this guy still hasn't had to fight yet. So oh wow, okay. Yeah, he's one of the baddest fools in the game, and we don't know why yet. Yeah. You know? <laughs> Anyways, this is another piece of news actually connected to the Oscars, One Piece related. So um, they caught Jamie Lee Curtis at the Oscars. You know, I guess she she went, and um, I, I think they asked her. You know, what do you think about this new live action One Piece? Uh, One Piece show that's out. And she's like, Oh, One Piece. It's like, yeah, my, I love One Piece. She's like, I know my friend is the voice actor in the, in the live, in the animated English version, blah, 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 right? Mm. It's like, and we were talking, and we were saying, I should be the the doctor that teaches Tony Tony Chopper how to be a doctor. She's like, you know, just, so I was watching some episodes with her and, like, learning about it. It's like, yeah, this character is just like me, and blah, 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 et cetera, et cetera. Huh. I'm like, 
holy shit, Jamie Lee Curtis knows about One Piece shit. <laughs> and like she's act- and she's saying right now she wants to be involved in that live action One Piece show that's getting casted right now. I think she was the one that was at Evo one year. Oh, I think it was as a her. cosplayer. But no one knew because she was in full like outfit. I forgot who she was. I think oh, it was like a more Google combat that? character or something like that. That'd yeah. Be fucking funny. So yeah, I think she's secretly a nerd. Yeah, dude, I'm fucking hyped, man. Jamie Lee Curtis is gonna be um her name is Kareha. And yeah, she's she's the doctor that teaches our our boy Tony Tony Chopper, one of the best straw hat characters, you know, how to be a doctor. And I was you guys should really look up this interview. I was oh she was on boo or something? That's oh cool. she was Vega. That's funny. That's hilarious. Oh shit, she's posing with Makoto. Yeah, because I, cause I, I remember even, like, I was at Evil that year, and I did see that uh, that, that Vega, that going Vega like, walking around. Never thought anything about it, and it turns out, like, it was freaking... She's been a Power Ranger she's before, a Power too? Ranger before, too? What the heck? Yeah. I mean, for an old lady, she's pretty in shape, so, yeah, she could pull off a lot of that shit. But, yeah, um, for anyone who's never known, uh, Kareha, if you want to k- click this little mm-hmm. mama thing, this is a character that's, like, old. She's like They say she's really fucking old, and she's, like, you know basically decrepit but she's running around and jumping around like like fucking the young characters and oh, fucking, yeah yeah and she's swearing and smoking and drinking alcohol and talking shit to people all the time that's funny and i'm like this would be fucking hilarious if she plays this character huh, so okay. yeah um uh, i'm looking forward to it i'm glad that she knows and it's not just like someone offhandedly mentioned it to her she knows about one piece shit. she's researched this she yeah. looked into it i'm like that's fucking cool that's cool okay well we'll see what happens there yeah that sounds dope yeah, yeah, it's kind of cool to see like hear these celebrities like actually know the context and like uh, of, of things. You know, you kind of wish they would like in other previous like movies that were like redone off of animes or, or video games. Like you're like you just wish they fucking read some material for like at least ten minutes. You know, right? Just, just know a little <laughs> bit about them yeah. and shit. Yeah, but it looks like she like you know definitely knows some shit. That just makes it a lot better. Mm-hmm. And hopefully this One Piece show is actually good. Like I mean, like at least twice as good as Bebop. Because then it might pick up steam and it might get better every season, you know? And apparently they got big actors that are interested. Jamie Lee Curtis, like, season one doesn't have anybody too, too big in it yet. But if they keep getting bigger in season two, season three, they might get better actors and it might just become this cool, big-ass world, you know? That'd be cool. Yeah, so... That'd be a first. Yeah, it, it would be a first, right? For <laughs> anime, an anime thing to yeah. be done well like that. But anyway, um, yeah, one piece of news there. Other news, um, Ezra Miller, The Flash... Are we not getting any more Justice League shit? Because this guy is uh got arrested again for assaulting someone. Again. <laughs> yeah, this happened once before a couple years ago. And you know, Warner Bros. kinda of swept into the rug. He assaulted a chick. Oh really? Yeah, and Damn. then just this just this week, man. Somebody was doing karaoke, he was drunk, and he didn't like them doing the karaoke, he started talking shit to them and Were they doing the someone, song bad or something? Yeah, that's what he is <laughs> according to him, you know. You're ruining the song. Yeah, and then like somebody talked shit back to him and he went over and started fighting them and shit, you know, and Wow. Um and then now today, this is this is breaking news, you know? Mm. A fucking couple has put a restraining order out against this guy saying that he fucking kicked in their bedroom door and fucking threatened them and shit and told him he's gonna kill the them. Fuck? He's living with them or whatever, but I, oh. which is even weirder. Like, this is a big time actor. Like, why are you fucking like living in someone else's house? <laughs> yeah, weird, right? Yeah, yeah, that is weird. But you know, for whatever reason, he kicked in their door and fucking told them he would kill them both, or like he would fuck them, and he fucking robbed them and took their shit. What like the fuck, took their passport and their social security shit, and like they still haven't gotten their shit back. And Warner Brothers still hasn't done shit about this guy. Wow. Warner Brothers is the same company, by the way, that fired Johnny Depp for not doing anything with this whole Amber Heard thing. <laughs> like, he's fired because just because of the scandal. But this is okay, though. You know what I mean? Like I'm like, what is yeah, going physical on? evidence and all that? You know, this video is not necessary. You know, this is the first thing from <laughs> a couple years ago where he's choking this bitch, and like Damn. we we know that's a thing. And Warner Brothers, you know, that's just that's like, oh, you know, it's fine. Interesting. I'm not talking about it. I'm just like. This is weird. It is like, weird. I don't like this. Anyway, yeah. Um. So, that being said, the Flash movie that was supposed to come out later this year has now been pushed back to 2023. Wonder why? Mm, I don't know. Maybe it's unrelated. <laughs> unrelated. Maybe, yeah. AJ. Um. So, Fortnite. You ever heard of that game? Have nope. you actually played Fortnite before? No. No. I've seen it. But you I never seen played. It, though? It. You seen it? Yeah. Uh. One of the things about Fortnite that, like, you know, sometimes turn people off is um their building mode. That's one of the main things. That's why it's called Fortnite, I believe. 
Because you, you build shit, right? Oh, is that why it's called Cor- Fort- Fortnite? Yeah, I believe so. Uh, you know, it's a shooty shooty game, right? Yeah, you know? yeah, bang yeah. bang. Yeah, but like uh, when you're like in conversation with somebody, like you you uh, you build shit. You build a wall in front of you, and then you could build a fucking platform on top of it. And jump. You could build a house. So people make fun of it sometimes. It's like, oh yeah, I don't like playing Fortnite because I don't like being. I, I can't build a mansion. <laughs> um, so like you build fucking towers high and shit, and people are jumping in there. But you can also shoot like if you, if you shoot the walls enough, they'll break down and all that, right? That's kind of like that's one of the main concepts of Fortnite. That also I never like. I did play Fortnite for like a little bit. Never understood how to build shit. Was never fast enough with it. People do that shit all the time. There's a mode now called Zero Build in Fortnite that takes away the building mode. So now you can play without even having to worry about building shit now. Which is probably cool. Maybe uh, more people will come back to it. I don't know. Uh, but if anyone would like stop playing Fortnite because they couldn't do the ba- uh, the building stuff, you can probably go back to it now and check it out. I'm not going to do it. <laughs> Decided. <clears throat> All right, other news. So some of the Funimation Crunchyroll acquisitions are setting in. And uh, not everyone's liking it. Uh, there's a lot of things they are going to... I think I mentioned last week. There's a lot of things that are going to be lost to high dive uh, that Funimation... No, uh, Crunchyroll cannot absorb, and it's actually a lot of popular anime. I think we talked about that last week, but this week another update came from Crunchyroll that from now on, if you have the free Crunchyroll, which has the ads, you will not be able to watch the new anime that drops for spring 2022 and summer 2022 and winter 2022. So, you know, that's one of the things on Crunchyroll is you get something up to date when they bring out the new shit, they got it, you know. Interesting. Yeah, you're not gonna get that anymore if you're um if you're doing the free if shit. you're doing the free one, yeah, with the commercials. So yeah, you can still enjoy Crunchyroll. You can still enjoy their library you, just with commercials. But if you want to so, be able to see the new shit, sorry, you no gotta fucking pay for just it. Just old old shit. Huh? Only old shit now. You gotta pay for it if you want the new shit now. Um, I'm kind of a. I don't know how to feel about that. I'm kind of cool with it, but I'm kind of like it's kind of fucked up too. Um, I mean, eventually some of the new shit will be old shit. And then be available at yeah, some point. Yeah, you can point, wait out. Right? I'm sure you haven't seen every anime. So you can watch some other shit so while you're waiting. If it's free, then I I don't see a problem with that, honestly. No, you're that right. That makes sense. It's just, it sucks for people that already have it. And, yeah, it, it sucks that you're used to it, though. Yeah, but you're right. They're not paying for it. So yeah. what are they going to say, right? Yeah. And so here's some of the things you'll be missing out on. Uh, Dawn of the Witch, Tomodachi Game, um, Shikimori is Not Just a Cutie, uh, The Great Demon Lord is Reborn as a Typical Nobody, and... Spy X Family. <clears throat> That's the big fucking re- release for spring 2022. Everyone's hyped about that anime. Hmm. And if you don't have this new version, you cannot watch it. So keep that in mind. <clears throat> yeah, I think people would be more pissed off. Hmm. At least I would be pissed off. Even though I don't have Crunchyroll. If it was like, oh yeah, the low tier plan for you know six hundred ninety a month doesn't let you watch new shit. That, then I'll be yeah, like, that, pissed that, off. that that would be frustrating. I was like, I'm paying for this shit. What the fuck? Uh, but the fact that it's a free tier, okay, that makes sense. Uh, this goes into effect May 31st. Okay. So, yeah, just be ready. Don't get mad. Don't rage quick, guys. Uh, AJ, how much news you got left? Uh, I got one more story. Okay, let me go again then. Uh, so, uh, Morbius lies to us. What? No. Uh, so, actually, maybe we should put the spoiler thing for this news. I think. Should we? I don't know. Spoiler news. It's not really a sp- I mean, it is kind of a spoiler. Okay. All right, spoiler warning and you know, like just a quick one about the news. <laughs> yeah, it's not a big I'm not, one. I'm not gonna put the music on. I don't think. You don't think? Because it? it, I feel like this is more. I don't know what the what the story is. But it's the Morbius movie, and yeah, you know, this talks about their advertisement and what they were advertising to us, and what's actually not in the movie. So. I don't know if that's a, a spoiler no. or a warning. It's a warning. I okay. think it's a warning. Well, I'll give you guys an extra <laughs> warning. If you don't want to know anything about the Morbius movie, please skip ahead a good uh, minute or two right now because we're yeah. just going to say it real briefly. The Morbius promotion has lied to everybody. Uh, you know Adrian Toomes, the vulture? Yeah. Michael Keaton? Yeah. Not in the movie. Why would they show us that? Uh, they wanted to trick you. And then why would you not tell people about this? Why would you let them skip ahead? They wanted to trick you to get you to go see the movie, wow. even though they knew it wasn't going to be good. Because guess what? I don't like this fucking movie. It's got really bad scores right now. Oh, shit. Uh, now, that's not to say that Michael Keaton does not appear. He just doesn't appear in the movie. He does appear briefly in an after credit scene. However, that after credit scene is not any of those scenes we saw in the trailers. <clears throat> why? I don't know, AJ, because they they knew it was going to suck. <laughs> That's my only guess. I don't know what else to think other than that. They must have known it was going to suck, and they were like, you know what? We need people to watch this movie. <laughs> You're just going to fucking tell him he's in it. And he wasn't. 
He played no plot. Into so it. they knew that like a year ago. <laughs> like, oh, this movie sucks. I don't know if it was a last minute decision <laughs> or what. I don't know, man. I don't know what to say because I don't know how they came to this. But all I know is that they lied to us. That's he's, crazy. He's not in it. And there's no Spider Man references, too. All right. I, I was like already planning this weekend to go see it and shit. Oh, really? Yeah. I was like, serious? About it. Yeah. I was like thinking about it. Like, man, maybe I should go see it just in case and everything. Nope. Don't waste your time. Yeah. Now I don't even feel like seeing it now. Nah, I don't see it. Like, I was actually like about to go watch Venom 2 because I didn't see it because I know there's no connected. That's, I heard that's kind of good. Yeah. But I'll tell you, the only Venom connection this movie has is the scene you've seen in the trailer already mm. where it says, I am Venom. And he's like, what? And he's like, no, I'm just joking. Yeah, that's the only the mm. only reference of Venom in the whole Damn, thing. Damn, nothing. I don't want to see it anymore. Yeah, maybe you shouldn't. Uh, don't waste your money. Don't sucks. waste your money. I'll just wait for it. So hopefully that wasn't like a spoiler on, for you guys, but that's just facts. I'll wait for it to appear on Steven's server. Yeah. <laughs> okay, other real quick piece of news. Um, Disney Plus tried to censor Falcon and the Winter Soldier, which it's funny because I had pointed out last year, that's the bloodiest Marvel project we've gotten is Falcon and the Winter Soldier. There's a lot of murder, a lot of blood, yeah, a, a Disney, lot of problems. It wasn't even from Netflix. It was Disney Plus. <laughs> yeah. Um, and yeah, Disney Plus tried to censor it, or at least we think they did because earlier today they came out and said, oh no, that wasn't a censor. That was a glitch. We did not mean for that to come out. That was a mistake of an alternate cut. Blah, 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 blah. How does she like that happen? Because it can't, bro. It can't. They're lying. They tried to censor it, and they realized we all got mad, and they tried to take it away. But the WandaVision thing, remember like how the ending kind of changed, and it was that figure that everyone was Ooh, talking about floating through? And that was like a watermark or some shit? Yeah, it was like a watermark or some shit like that. Like, How does shit like that happen? You know what? Oh, you're right. Maybe that is similar. Like, how does that a mistake? Like, I have videos on my server, and I don't fucking overwrite them and get a whole new fucking scene, and then, you know? Like, yeah. How does that even... Yeah, how's that thing? Yeah. yeah, you know, you bring up a really interesting question, AJ. But yeah, this has a glitch with an Therefore, alternate. Therefore, you're lying. <laughs> we take it into <laughs> respect. Yeah, I don't know, man. It's weird. Yeah, that's Fucking that's weird. weird. But it, like, I don't know. I, I now I'm also wondering too because like, wasn't there a discussion like, oh, maybe this part of the pair until like uh, controls and everything? And, yeah, but and... nope, it's not true though. You it you you see that regardless of putting in the parental control. Yeah. But they apparently they're gonna change it back. They reverted it back. But what if that's their plan though? What if they're a fucking with that feature, and then maybe they released uh, it on accident, or, and that's what the glitch is? You know what, AJ? So that, that could be a that thing, actually right? tracks. That makes a lot of sense. That maybe they were just playing with a edited version of it that they yeah. have. You know what? You could be right. I can see that. It's like yeah, when you sign into the parental thing and you're the parent, you can this is see what it. You see. And the kids will see this version, and then like let's go test it out. And then they fucked up, and it went out of public, and the public wasn't supposed to see it. Yeah, you maybe, know, that's, maybe pretty, that's what it is. That's a good guess. Yeah. I can believe that. Okay. There you go. I, I figured it out, guys. You heard it here first, and I'm focused. Yeah. Man. All right. Um, AJ, you got one more piece of news. Right? There's a conspiracy theory. It says Tai Chi. They changed it to inflate the viewing numbers because it it uh, make people watch it to confirm it. That's interesting. It, it's, that's a pretty Falcon, solid tactic. If, if that was a thing, that's a pretty good tactic. I guess Falcon Winter Soldier would be the lowest rated one because everyone's tops is never Captain yeah, that's Winter, the, or Falcon Winter Soldier. Yeah, that's oh, never the top Captain one. Falcon. <laughs> um, it's always like Loki, WandaVision, and then what maybe if? that. Or yeah, and then maybe what if and all that. Yeah, so yeah, that, that, that's, a, good, that's, to play that's a co-theory too. I could see that. I like that. All right. Well, in other news, uh, outside the Marvel Universe, Pokemon Universe, uh, and Amazon. So apparently uh, Amazon quietly launched a subscription service uh, for Pokemon T-Shirt Club. What? So those that subscribe will receive a new Pokemon shirt every month. Yo, we got to get on that, right? I, 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 Yes and no. I'm kind of afraid of what designs you'll get. But here's Some like ones. So? Uh, already with this, I'm already not, not because, impressed. Because not it's, impressed because already. Because it's a t-shirt club, like they're not gonna show you what print is gonna be. Like this is just Oh, that's just to sell it. Yeah, this is just a static, you know, image, you know, to kind of get you going. I'm gonna still like, need to see the first release first. Do I have to like yeah, like I wanna see like what shirts have come out so far or will come out. Then, you know, I'll be like, okay, those are some cool shirts. But as of right now, there there's there's nothing. I wonder it's like twenty bucks a month and you get one t shirt a month. Um. Yeah, you can choose your size and everything. I'm not sure. I, I I think Amazon has services like that that exist. But if you want a Pokemon shirt, uh, every month, go check it out. I don't think I'm gonna do it. I'm very picky with what Pokemon I wear. So. Yeah, grass type only. Yeah. 
All right. No, that's not true, but <laughs> my last piece of news, um there will be a Pennywise prequel connected to the to the It movie, the new the modern It movies 1 and 2. It's coming out. Um they haven't given too much details on it except that this is going to be talking about Pennywise when he first got to Derry. The show is going to be called Welcome to Derry. And you know, I guess that's going to be both for us as viewers as well as to Pennywise when his fucking alien ship crashes there and he fucking morphs into this creepy ass fucking clown for some reason. I guess we're going to find out how that whole thing plays out. He's from space? Yeah. What the fuck? That's crazy. Mhm. I had never seen the whole fucking Pennywise. You should watch them. They're all good. All that shit. Yeah, they reveal eventually that he fell from a star or whatever. It's all connected to Dark Tower. As, you know, oh, I was going to say, is there any connection to, uh, what was it called, Killer Clowns from Space? No. That's, Damn. Well, uh, kind of. I mean, kind of, uh, I mean, not by the writers, but you know, Nat, we're saying that he fell from the stars. Like, you, you could say it, you know. <laughs> Maybe they learned from him. They're like, oh, that's a good idea, a clown. Okay, let's be those fools. Hmm. Yeah, I could see that. Uh, but yeah, so there will be a Pennywise prequel show. It's about him coming to Derry. Uh, from the picture that they showed, which is like... Um, it looks like an old timey version of the actor who plays Pennywise, like in a suit and shit. And I'm like, I guess they, I I guess it's gonna be about that character, but Pennywise itself is an alien that hit the fucking planet and like copied the first like the first thing that they thought that people liked, so it could attract victims, you know, mm. and clowns. Like, oh, people like clowns. I'm gonna turn into a fucking clown. And <clears throat> yeah, I guess he's like slowly learned to try to be more human to not freak people out. Right. <laughs> That's the whole thing is he's just trying not to freak you out so he could eat you, you know. <laughs> Um, yeah, this, I feel 50, 50 on this concept as a big it fan. I feel very 50, 50 on this. I feel like this could be really good or really shitty. Like just some project they want to shove down our throats to try to like sell more it shit. You know, it's hard to say with this one, man, but I'm hoping that they make it to a point where it's, it's an actually very interesting show. And I want to know like how creepy he becomes and like how he like, you know, I'd love to see it. More scary like, than what we've already seen in the movies, basically. It can almost be like the Joker, like kind of that. Thing yeah, that yeah, yeah. See how he becomes kind of messed up in the head and all that. Mm-hmm. Huh. But more creepy and more supernatural because it's a fucking mm-hmm. alien. Right, right? yeah. yeah so. Cuckoo says he's Stephen King's version of uh, of old ones slash elder gods. Yeah, that's true. Hmm. He, they basically say that he's like one of those really old, yeah, demonic spirits or whatever. Yeah, Interesting. Yeah, exactly. It has come from space. That's all. All right. Uh, that's it for the the news part of Unfocus, guys. Uh, AJ, what you got planned for your future Unfocus? Yeah, week? that's actually a, one of feels like one of the quickest episodes we've had in a long time. Yeah, news is kind of weak this week. Yeah, still a good episode yeah. too, even though. Yeah, I mean, after Will Smith, like you know, slapped Chris Rock, things just went. Everybody they, went they, quiet. They, everyone went quiet. Everyone, they, no one wanted to get slapped. That's uh, just in case, you know. Right. <laughs> <laughs> um, but um, oh, you know, one thing I, I forgot to talk about that I did. I went to round one and I, I played um that that uh, music game I like playing. It's like a touch screen game. You had music and all that, right? You, you touch the screen to the rhythm. There's all these little things you got to press on, right? And um, I, I try to start venturing into master mode now where shit's fucking faster and shit and there's more shit going on all at once. And um, I play this one song like nine times because there's this one part in the song where like it's it's really fast and I, I can I can see it happening, but I can't get the rhythm down right and it was fucking pissing me off. And I failed that song like eight times. Shit. And I finally passed it on the ninth time and I got a B for it. Once I fucking learned that pattern and the rhythm to it, I fucking it's way more it. doable. Yeah, and it, it was more doable, and it actually got me the fucking win. So, oh shit, what up, Carlos? You're late though. We're about to take off. Um, but yeah, so I want to go back and play more of that shit though, because uh, like I, I fucking learned the rhythm of it finally. Like fuck yeah, now I gotta get the other rhythm of everything else. So maybe go back to round one and play some more of that music game, and maybe catch some more Street Fighter there. But mm. um, I haven't been in round one in a while, so I've been too lazy to walk down there and, and, and check them out. Yeah. I, have a, I have a shit little tickets too. I have like 7,000 tickets. Um, and I was noticing there's like uh, these cool like little action figures they have there. They're like 7,000. I was like, oh shit, I can get one of these. Oh shit. Nothing I like though. So maybe maybe one day. Or maybe I can just save up and get buy like a freaking slow cooker or something like that. We'll see. Um, and then, um, yeah, aside from that, maybe uh, do some more Digimon They have shit. a slow cooker at round one? Yeah, there's like a freaking uh, like a, a toaster oven type of thing up there too. <laughs> Skateboards, they like a vacuum, I think is something you can win. That's fucking if you hilarious. Want to. Yeah, they got like, some <laughs> random shit over there too. Uh, one cool thing I, I, I'm thinking about getting, they have like a neon sign that says like video games or, you know, random shit like that, like neon, like, you know, line shit. Um, might get one of those for, for kicks. We'll see. Yeah. Um, more Digimon cards. Um, maybe uh, Wags just gave me a um, 
from the universe's uh, My Hero Academia card set. Um, he has a uh, Momo Yajirosa card, and I might want to. He gave me that card, so now I want to build a deck around her. So um, then pulls so items out of her breast, right? Yeah, that's right. I remember her. Out of her skin. Whatever. <laughs> um, and then, yeah, maybe get back into some more KOL. Feeling this that computer, uh, Steven's computer, not this Steven, but another Steven. Um, yeah, I got a lot of work on that shit. Tai Chi says Chris Rock's comedy tour starts next week and the prices of the tickets just skyrocketed. Here's the funny here's the thing about Chris Rock. I was always gonna say here's the funny thing about Chris Rock, but that's my point. Chris Rock hasn't been funny for a long fucking time. <laughs> and I didn't even think he was very funny at the Oscars. I was like him getting slapped was the highlight of his comedy. <laughs> so, I mean, like, In a while, right? Yeah, so I was like, uh I if this I mean, I don't think this was done to jumpstart his career, but this is a good balance for him after getting slapped in front of public TV that he'll actually make some money because he sucks now. <laughs> yeah. In my opinion. Yeah, I heard some people saying this exact same thing. Like, Oh, you know, really? Like, this help, like, Will Smith more so help Chris Rock. You know, now they're going to want to get him, like, a freaking Netflix special and all that. Yeah, right? Just so he can talk about it. Now he has new material to talk about, too, about getting slapped on stage and stuff. Like, <laughs> like yeah, the world looks different once you've been slapped on stage. <laughs> right so yeah so i think uh yeah it did kind of re-jump his his career in some way yeah so will smelt helped him more than he thought i think yeah tai chi for sure people want to know if he's going to talk about it, but if he happens to be funny when he does talk about it guess what that's going to re-excite his career and now yeah. he's back in the game you mm -hmm. know yep so yeah, that's that's interesting um yeah, okay. I think I got nothing else for my unfocused week. Finish my little website thing. I'll see on the Maybe download thing. that Scott Pilgrim thing. Maybe download that Scott Pilgrim uh, thing into my computer. What nice. Have? It's an album. Track. It's music. It's a track. That's true. <laughs> well, you, damn, Reason answered you. <laughs> I know, right? Um, all right. <laughs> I dropped it on the soundboard on accident. That's funny. Uh, for my unfocused oh, week, anthem. I'm going to watch more Yellow Jackets probably tonight. That show's fucking great. Uh, I also want to see Turning Red, like AJ had mentioned. I want to see um, West Side Story. I haven't gotten to see that yet. You know, I'm kind of interested in seeing it because um, wasn't it like Jason talking about it? Yeah. Like, it's like amazing and stuff. And, like he made me want to go see it. Yeah, it's funny. My girl said she fucking thought it wasn't that good. She she watched and she loves musicals. She was like, "Well, she's a girl. What's she not? No, I'm just kidding." <laughs> <laughs> yeah, she was like, "Maria wasn't that good." She's like, "The old one was so much better." I was like, "Oh shit, damn." damn. I know. I, was, I said, "Damn, okay." <laughs> I was like, okay. But, you know, I want to see it for myself. Oh, I want shit. to see what's Wags up. got a fucking woodwork all of a sudden. All late. Yeah. We already gave your, uh, you your big ups, Wags, for beating that jackass at the tournament. Good job. <laughs> oh, shit. He said he finished his Buff Dramon deck. The fuck? Yeah. Like, remember, suddenly he has this weird concept of a rogue deck, right? Um, where he wants to have a Command Dramon and just fucking beef it up to like 10,000, 11,000 oh, <laughs> DP. <laughs> well, come on, Cletus. Come on. <laughs> so I want to see it. It's black and purple. That's interesting. You'd have to. Black does a lot of attack increases. That makes sense. Yeah, and then purple. I don't discard shit. Huh? Discard, yeah, and game from discard. I was gonna say, uh, have you? I mean, I'm sure you've thought about. It. Have you thought about using Call of the Underworld? I have it in uh, one of my purple decks. Okay, I was thinking your yellow purple. If uh, if you're looking at it from a Yu-Gi-Oh side and you want to decrease the number of cards in your deck so that you get your shit faster, Call of the Underworld would be a good one because you discard and because you discarded it, you draw a card. I want to look into that then. Yeah, just an idea. I don't know if that would even be that useful for you. No, but, but like I, I was actually thinking about fucking around with some more purple shit and that you know purple yellow shit that I have going on yeah. to to fucking draw shit quicker. Oh, dude, uh, I was actually yeah. thinking about that. Look at it, bro. That it's perfect for what you're trying. That's fucking funny. Uh, other than that, I want to read more of Avengers Forever. I know I've been saying that for the past few weeks, but I really do want to read more of it. I keep looking at it, and I just I'm too busy. I want to play more KOF, which I have been playing KOF. I just gotta get used to their combo system. It's almost like Street Fighter, it's just slightly off on timing. I gotta get used to their timing. Um, other than that, I think that's pretty much my focus week. This shit brings back a level four purple. No, no, no. Read the second ability. Yeah, and your main you play play with purple. Level four lower card okay. from your trash. Not that one. Sorry, the first part of it. Read when the you trash part. this card from your hand using one of your effects, trigger draw one. So that's cool. Yeah, because see that. Then think about it. That's a, as they would you say in Yu-Gi-Oh. Yu -Oh. No, or if you drew this card, yeah. No, like okay, oh, because I'm thinking of using it with like a uh, like a uh, freaking uh, Miramon. Oh, Miramons. well, yeah. If you did that, then yeah, draw one, trash one. Yeah, right. if you use that, you would. Yeah, you would draw two. That's yeah. true. But yeah, yeah. No, you're right. You're right. Yeah, that's basically draw two for what purple does. And um, is if you think about Yu-Gi-Oh style, that's just a minus one, one less card in your deck. One, you put four of those in there, like 
you're getting to your meat faster, you know? Like, yeah, yeah, exactly. So just an idea. Carl's asking if we played Elden Ring. Nah. No, I want to. I want to, but I don't want to. Because you know what? It's giving me mad Diablo vibes. And I feel it looks like Diablo, but more badass. Because, you know, it's like in third person view. The powers look cooler. Yeah. And I'm like, I don't think I need that in my life right now. I think like I need. I actually need to go to work. It's not Diablo. <laughs> no, I know no. it's not Diablo. Yeah. I'm not saying that. I said I'm getting Diablo vibes as, yeah. as to how addicting it is and to how good it is. It's uh, it's like one of those Souls games. It will change your life, says Carlos. Shit. <laughs> yeah, See, but it's like he's... one of those Souls games. Like when you die, it's like a permadeath type of die. Like, you, yeah, you, so you gotta really gotta just be careful and shit. Yeah. Um, yeah, like I said, this I'm sounds like a. Play it. I know I'm not. It sounds play. like a game that's just just like Diablo, where I'm gonna not stop playing it, and I'm like, <laughs> no, I'm good. I don't think I need Elder Ring in my life. I want to. Are you questioning your life? Damn, it's also going to make you question your... Yeah, see, I don't want that. I don't want that. I'm good with what I'm doing right now. I don't need to question my life right now. Yeah, that's... that. <laughs> clearly, you're not listening to me. That's what Diablo did to us. We fucking didn't go to school, didn't go to work. We fucking played Diablo, bro. And you know what? I don't regret it. And that's the problem. That's the problem. Yeah. I've been honestly thinking, like, man, like, if I can clear up some more time, I want to play that new Diablo 2. Damn. Don't even say that to me right now. Anyway, I'm focused. Thank you, guys. We'll oh, yeah. see you next week. We out. Don't forget, this is a Collision 28 production. We're live on twitch.tv slash Collision 28 every Wednesday. Wednesdays. Also, uh, you can always catch us on youtube.com slash Unfocused Podcast to uh, see rebroadcasting of these episodes. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe there as well. Also, uh, Twitter, uh, you can message us at Unfocused 28. Uh, we also give you updates when the show starts. Instagram at Unfocused Podcast. Uh, subscribe, you know, like. Uh, also, uh, you can subscribe to uh, our podcast show, the audio version, on Apple Podcasts. Or just get more information about that on Collision28.com. Or if you have any comments or things you want us to talk about or maybe things that you feel we missed in the past, email us on unfocusedpodcast at gmail.com.